everyone's day going today? Hey Gladys, hey Leslie, hey Sanchez, happy Monday to you too my friend. Hey Ange. Hey Brian, howdy notorious one. Hey Jacob, welcome in. Oh, my volume's up. Hi Ada. Hello Jose. Hey Jennifer. She says, yay, I got the notification. <laughs> hey Arlene. Alright guys, so today has been a crazy day as far as like Disney news and everything. Um, there were a bunch of new ears that dropped between yesterday and today. Um, some new merch. Um, the list of new food items during Star Wars uh, Season of the Force uh, dropped today as well as the new food for Star Wars night and also the popcorn buckets, the sippers, the glow cubes, the straw clips, all of that. All of that dropped today. Hey CL, happy Monday to you too. So it's been a very big day as far as like updates and news and like fun stuff happening with the parks. <laughs> hey Stephen, welcome in. How you doing from Wyoming? All right, guys. So just briefly, I'll show you guys quickly um, a couple of pictures of some of the new popcorn buckets and zippers that are coming. Apparently, we're in a walkway. So let me show you really quickly. Hey, Alyssa. So here's the new Jabba popcorn bucket that's going to be coming out pretty cool looking. His mouth opens and the popcorn, you actually eat the popcorn from in his mouth, which is pretty funny. So there's that one. I'll show you a picture of it from the um, perspective of it being open. So, oops. So that's with his mouth open. You actually like reach in and get the popcorn. Interesting. And then there's a straw clip. It, it's the picture quality is not the best, guys, because I kind of zoomed in and whatever. Um, but this appears to be a straw clip that's going to be coming out. They're feeding it popcorn in the picture. A little scary looking. And then they're bringing back the new, um, or not new, but from last year, they're bringing back the Grogu zipper. And there's like a new cup coming out, like a tumbler. Um, there's a, I believe it's a Millennium Falcon popcorn bucket that's coming out and a Death Star and Millennium Falcon glow cube that are coming out too. So some really, really, really cool stuff coming. Hi, Joey. All right, see where I left off, guys. Sanchez says, wait for magic happens for you. Yes, Sanchez, you know it. Um, I saw Jake, or I saw Jacob. Jacob, I saw Goofy. I have not seen anyone else yet. Leslie says, happy Monday, magic makers. Don't forget to smash the like button and show our favorite cowgirl some love. Hey, Saber. Saber says, ooh. And says, that would be a cute cookie jar. Ooh, it would. CL says, can't wait for the new food. Me too. There's some really good looking stuff too. Ada, you and your candy, I swear. Arlene says, sort of creepy to me. <laughs> it's like, so creepy, it's kind of cute, but not, I don't know. Joey says, hey, what up, dude? How you doing, Joey? Brian says, it will be cool seeing. Hey, Gabriel River, welcome in. Happy to have you here. He says, I love seeing you again. And says, Yay! Have a good rest of your work day, CL, and be safe setting and heading home. And she says, I need to get those glow cubes for sure. I know, I think those are going to be really popular. Um, a, because they're small and less expensive, and B, I mean, hello, like the two most iconic, probably, symbols of Star Wars. Hey, a dog's life. He says, Hi, everyone. Don't forget to take care of your pets. Or take care for your pets. Yes. Gotta love those furry critters, right? And feather. Gabriel says, greetings from Argentina. Happy to have you here, Gabriel. Or I should say, Gabriel. 
Hey, Clark Cole, welcome in. He says good afternoon to all from Santa Rosa, California. Hi, M. Wright. How you doing, friend? Hey, Shokan, the greatest emperor. He said hello, Katie. How you doing, Shokan? That is going to be cooler if I can eat the bucket too. <laughs> I love Moana. Amy says, hi sweet friends. How you doing, Amy? Give Bodhi a hug from us. Francis, I've been enjoying these Disney streams and making friends are great. Thank you, Brian. Happy to have you here. Ooh, Sanchez, you like Raya now? She's beautiful. Hello, Ray Jean Rolf, welcome in. She says, hi everyone. All right, guys, I think we're pretty much caught up. So as I was saying, some new ears dropped. So yesterday, um, some Infinity Gauntlet ears dropped. They're beautiful. They're gold with different uh, rhinestones on the front and on the back. And they've got a beautiful sparkly gold bow. And then um, the Three Caballeros ears dropped. And those are stunning, too. Both ears are from Loungefly. Um, and I believe they both have the removable bows. I know the Three Caballeros does. I believe the Infinity Gauntlet does as well. Um, the Three Caballeros one is black and it glows in the dark, which, you know, I'm a sucker for. Uh, but the bow is beautiful. It's like rainbow colored and it's got a little enameled guitar in the middle of it. It's absolutely beautiful. And then the ears that dropped today are up themed. They're gorgeous, gorgeous, um, like faux leather. They're brown and they have a removable bow, but the bow, instead of it being removable like the normal bows are that are removable, it's a clip. So like, you could clip it like a little bow tie. So cute. And it's got the little um, grape soda bottle top on it. So cute. So if we have a chance, we'll try and find those and check those out. I haven't gone in the stores. Um, I know they had all three pairs this morning, but like I said, I just got here maybe an hour ago. I had a couple things to take care of, so. I'm not sure if they're still in stock, but we can go check it out and see. Can't see any? Did it start to stand up at your thing? I don't know how to say it. Hi, Christy. Welcome in. Did you get the notification or did you just like happen to see? Hey, and she says, no way. I'm going to have to go look. Yes. She's so cute. Leslie says, so many cute stuff. Yes. Hi, April. Welcome in. She says, good evening. Victoria says, I'd wear the Infinity Gauntlet ears if they came in Mickey. Well, they're Mickey ears. Calling all dreamers. Here's what you came for. This is the moment magic was made for. So, hold on tight and enjoy the ride. Because in just a few minutes, magic happens. Hi, Claire Wilde. Welcome in. She says, hi. Así que prepárense para disfrutar Magic Happens en tan solo unos minutos. Uh, Jacob, Anthony will be here with me tonight, but he's still like getting off work and stuff. So he won't be here till between like 7.30 and 8 o'clock tonight um, Pacific time. So that would be 9.30 p.m. your time to 11 p.m. Or sorry, 9.30 to 10. Wow, I need to drink more of this um, tonight, Jacob, okay? Christy says hi. <laughs> hey Winks, how you doing my friend? Winks is another streamer. We were able to meet him um, super late Thursday night in um, Starbucks, Market House, I cannot think of the name, um, with Berry Place and Caleb. And I'm like, I need to see Caleb in person. I didn't even realize that was Caleb Winks. <sighs> anyway. I feel really bad about that. But anyway, um, we ran into them that night. And then again, the next day after Wonder Journeys, it was really cool. He was one of the streamers that went on a bunch of the attractions with us. So we had a lot of fun. April says, your sweater's cute, thank you. It's like a bunch of different colors, very like springy. It's got a bunch of different characters on it, all embroidered. And then I'll show you the bag for the day. And the cherry, there's a cherry on the strap. Spin it around. 
The cherry scented like cherry. <laughs> And she says, every time I think I'm out, Disney pulls me back in, right? Get you every time. Christy says, I got the notification and I was here right away, but for some reason I couldn't chat. I had a chat window. Or I think you meant no chat window. So I had to close everything out and start again. YouTube's been weird lately. If you're on a phone, check and see if uh, your phone has an update for YouTube. Because I know a lot of uh, platforms have had uh, updates lately. Christina G, welcome in. She says, good evening. Jennifer says, hello, everyone. Skip a number. The Trace one says, yay. I got a chance to say sub sub to my guy, Dwayne, the Maui Johnson. Hey, Kelty, how you doing, my friend? Jacob says, Mickey, are any characters passed by before the parade? Uh, just goofy so far. Christina G says, love giveaways. Hey, Hector. He says, driving home from my work training. Hector, you should try and come. The parking lot was so empty when I got here. There was no one driving in to park. I like asked the cast members what was up and they're like, we don't know. Like, it's been slow today. So you should come, Hector. One minute. Uh, Claire says, so how many times do you go to Disney? I'm usually here about three days a week. I usually stream at least two days. Sometimes I'll do three, like last week we did three. Um, it just depends. April says, I love it. Definitely perfect for spring. Thank you. This one was, goodness. I wanna say from her universe. It's got little, it's actually a last year's um, cardigan, but I hadn't worn it yet. Cause by the time I got it, it was too hot. Let's see. Victoria says, ice cream cone bag. Ooh, nice. Jacob, I actually wished her happy birthday on her actual birthday in her stream. And um, I hung out with her on Friday, too, and wished her a happy birthday. Christy says, Katie, when you have a garage sale for Disney Flows, let us know. All right, guys. Oh, I hear the music. CL says, thanks for the Monday stream, Katie. I'll be ninja watching at work. Thank you, CL. Have a beautiful remainder of your day. Christina G says, hit that like button as you come in. Hector says, got work training tomorrow, friend, and I'm beat. No worries, Hector, I understand. Christina says, of course it's slow, but my magic key is blocked. I think that's why it's slow, because most of the magic keys are blocked. Hey, Linda Lou, how are you doing? She says, good evening. Linda Lou is another lovely lady that I met the other night. Happy to have you here. Her husband is another streamer. If, um, I don't think we have a link for them yet, guys. We'll have to add a link to them for the next stream. Hector says, I was thinking about a bit too. Um, Anthony was here on Friday with me, San or, uh, Jacob. Neither one of us were here on Saturday. Hey, Carmen, how you doing? Hector says, horrible sleep this weekend. I feel you, friend, I feel you. Christy says, Lainey's working, she's off tomorrow, so she thought you'd be streaming and could watch. She's gonna be sad she's missing it. Aw, I'm sorry. We have um, an, a special event that we're going to be going to tomorrow with some friends. Um, I can't really talk about it. I'll tell you guys about it when I'm allowed to talk about it. And those of you who are on Instagram might see it before I announce it on stream, what, what was going on. But we're not allowed to discuss it yet, and probably not for a few days, I would think. But that's why we won't be streaming tomorrow and why I'm here today. But we should be back as usual on Thursday. Carmen said, hi everyone again. Yeah. Linda Lee says, fun riding teacups and Thunder Mountain with y'all. Hope to hang out again. I would love that, Linda Lou. <laughs> Claire was that. April says, Friday stream was fun. It was a blast. It was so much fun, guys. 
Christy says only two bartenders, so she's having to work twice as much. Hey, that's twice the tips though, right? Hey, EXP66, how you doing, friend? They said, hello, Katie and friends. I'm good, Carmen, how are you doing? Carmen said, how is everyone doing today? Caden says, are you gonna celebrate? To a celebrity's house for dinner, I wish. We'll probably grab something to eat after. You're not gonna get it out of me. Just, I'll tell you this much, I'm nervous about it. I'm nervous, I'm very nervous. Hey, John E, welcome in. He says, hello, Katie and Chad. Okay, Hector, have a beautiful evening. And if you haven't driven home yet, be careful driving. Christy says, weather looks nice and cool and breezy. It is, it is cool. Um, it is definitely like sweater weather, um, hoodie, whatever. It's, it's cool. And there's definitely a breeze. Hopefully it dies down because there are fireworks tonight. Um, if you guys want, we can try to catch them. But it's going to be dependent on this.
so vibrant, so beautiful. Truly what magic is. <laughs> I just want to get every last second of it, Arlene. <laughs> following the parade down Main Street and we're gonna head over to Fantasyland and go start getting on some attractions. walking and not dancing and singing along. I don't know how they manage. <laughs> overwhelm my current mods so we're gonna be putting out a community post um, with some further details sometime this week and um, anyone who would like to apply is more than welcome to and we're gonna have a little questionnaire for you guys to answer kind of helps us have an idea of 
what your availability be, would be, your, your experience, all of that, to kind of narrow it down. Um, we, hold on, I was just looking to see if the ride was down. Um, we will be specifically looking, not just for, but for some um, male mods to add. I think the attraction's down, guys. Um, so not just male mods, but we definitely would like to add some male mods. It is down. Gosh darn the luck. All right, we'll come back. Hey, Living Dead fam, welcome in. That is another wonderful steamer that I was able to meet this past uh, weekend at the Return of Wonders Journeys. So we definitely want to add some male mods because right now it's pretty female dominant for the most part. Um, But that does not mean that we're only gonna add male mods. We just, we for sure wanna add some male mods, but we definitely need to add some mods. And I am now going to open it up to mods who currently mod for other channels. Previously, I wasn't doing that, but <laughs> you wanna say hi? Yeah, hey. <laughs> um, but, the channel's just gotten to the point where I just, I need a bunch of mods. <laughs> so we're going to be taking mods from other channels now as well. So keep an eye out if that's something that might interest you. And um, as I said, that'll be sometime this week. We'll be doing a community post with further information and how to go about applying. So let's see, let's see if we can do, oof, I was going to say if we could do Alice, but I don't know if we can even get to it. It is very packed. Maybe we'll do Alice, mm -hmm. uh, Let's just try Alice. Oh. Hey, Christian. Well, like I said, you know, everyone's going to be able to apply. And then we're just going to pick a few mods from the, the applications. If you've previously modded, it definitely will be um, a benefit. Up to the parade, guys. All right, guys, so we're gonna hop on Alice. Yeah guys, 
Another update, so April 11th will be the official stream anniversary for the channel. So April 11th was our first park, like regular live stream. Um, prior to that, I had only done like one or two special events and just streamed like maybe a fireworks show by itself and ended it immediately after and all that. So April 11th is like the official stream anniversary. So, and that happens to fall on one of our regular streaming days. So we'll do a big celebration that day. We'll do some special giveaways. All right. So keep that in mind, guys. April 11th. Lettuce says, honestly, Disney streams are a lot more calmer. I mod a couple of Vegas streams and can be insanely, insanely nice. mods to the team. So I will be doing a community post sometime this week um, with further information and an application. So look at the rabbit.
notorious one, your birthday. That was 10 days before it. Uh, Kelly, we're going to have applications, so everyone can apply. I'm definitely going to be looking for some mods with some experience. Friends, you have been active with these streams. Check wait times really quickly, guys. Dude, these wait times got crazy. Holy guacamole. They jumped, they jumped, they jumped. Let's do. Hmm. Do you guys want two cups or storybook? I know I just walked away from there. What sounds better, two cups or storybook? Hey, Brother Mike. <laughs> welcome back from vacuuming, Notorious. Oh, you're welcome, Living Dead Fam. I love that ride, too. Oh, we got a storybook. Okay. Whoop. All right. The first one I saw was a storybook, so we'll head that way. That's not to say we won't do teacups at some point. We'll just do a storybook first. Another Brian's at Happy Anniversary. Thank you. Ali had her one whole year with magic makers. Brian said, um, it's not for me. Married with an eight-month member milestone says happy almost anniversary. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. Love you. Hi, Daddy. <laughs> Gladys. <laughs> I've never heard that one before. <laughs> Everyone's going to be able to apply. We're just going to have to see who all applies and what everyone's experience is and all that. Hey, Brother Mike, he says, good evening, Sister Kate. And like I said, um, it will be open to mods from other channels as well. Victoria said, yeah, I get one year old. Mike says, how to check? Kelly says, okay. Uh, Jake said, how long till Anthony? Um, about an hour and a half or so. An hour and a half to two hours, Jacob. Thank you, Christian. Victoria says, I don't know how to feel about that, to be honest. What, about your birthday? Chrissy says, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> Paula said, break from teacups. <laughs> Y'all get enough teacups on Friday. That was pretty intense. Arlene said, I vote for Brother Mike to become a male mod. That is a possibility, friends. Alright, sorry guys. The chat jumped. So I'm looking, I'm looking. There we go. Okay. Everyone's saying hi to theme park casual. Glad to see the storybook with a side of fries. But like Claudia with a chance of meatballs. Hey Jennifer P, welcome in. Victoria said, once you get past 30, it's kind of like, yay, can life slow down please? And thank you. I know, it seems like every year you get older, like time just flies by that much faster. It's wild. Hey Randy, welcome in. He says, hello there Katie. Hey Rob, how are you doing my friend? Good day, mate. He said, the most gorgeous kid you can even say, oh, you're too sweet, Rob. <laughs> Kelly says, five years for my birthday. <laughs> Victoria says, sure, I'll entertain an application. I'd love an opportunity to join Blue Squad. <laughs> so you're saying we're the good guys? 
Rob says. Welcome to Main Street. Oh, Rob, you became a member. Thank you so much, Rob. Welcome to the, the Main Street Magic Makers, my friends. Carmen said that's a long time for Mr. Mischief to come to Disneyland, Miss Katie. <laughs> I know. Traffic was horrible, guys. It took me about two hours to get here today. Until spring breaks in full effect. All right, guys, make a wish. There goes the monorail. <laughs> Gladys says, "Mog or not mog?" That is the question. How do you get the chance to meet? Where's the pasta? Rob says, "Thank you, everyone. Finally, I get the membership done. Thrilled to be a member finally, and we appreciate you so much for doing so, Rob. If anyone else is interested in joining, uh, the link to become a member to the channel is also in the description of the stream now." We added that, so it's a lot easier to find. So is the link if you would like to um, email as well as uh, join Discord. Those links are also in the description of the stream. Gladys says, I feel like I'm in my 40s. I can see you in the day is gone. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, and I'm hot on the turn snow with my charging cable. There we go. Carmen said, very true, Miss Katie. I feel so old. Don't say that, Carmen. You're going to make me feel old. Oh, yeah. Victoria says, I'm saying that blue specifically, cerulean is my favorite color. Maybe it's, it's a beautiful maybe it's color. <laughs> Notorious said, wish me. Carmen said, oh, no, Miss Katie, two hours to go to Disneyland. Yeah. It was about, it was a little over two hours on Friday, and then today was about two hours. Spring break traffic, gotta love it. Rob said, am I your first Aussie member? I do think you are, Rob. That makes you extra special. You need like a, a koala bear wearing the, the cowboy hat. <laughs> Why are you confused, Jacob? Christian said, we start next week as a custodian at DCA on Wednesday. How exciting, Christian. Do you know um, what portion of the park you're going to be assigned to? Mary said, we're all in our adult teenage years. You're only as old as you think. Not as old as you feel. <laughs> Uh, April said, I had to hop off for a bit. What are you in line for? We are in line for Storybook. The lines got pretty long once we got off of Alice. Um, it's like all of a sudden everyone got to the park. I don't know. So, we're going to do Storybook and then we'll reassess once we get on. Uh, Jacob, it's going to be the channel's anniversary on April 11th. Notoria says, I think Storybook boat ride April. Thanks, correct, Notorious. Simon said, how's everyone doing today? Christian said, I don't know yet. I will find out on Wednesday. How exciting! <laughs> Mary says, Mike's about like 13. I'm about 88. <laughs> no, you're not. You're both like 18. <laughs> Mike says, I think I'm 13, but I feel 83. <laughs> Sorry, so Storybook is my sister's favorite ride. I am Jacob. I'm going to be doing a stream on the 11th. It's actually one of our normal streaming days, so it works out perfectly. And we'll do some special giveaways and stuff. We'll do something special for it. Mike says, I need to. A bullet or a mullet? <laughs> <laughs> he said, Mike's pulling a Benjamin button. <laughs> That's a good movie. That's a really good movie. Okay, since I just said about a movie, what is everyone's favorite movie? It does not have to be Disney. Or you could like post your favorite Disney movie and your favorite non Disney movie. I'm genuinely curious on this one. Uh, Jacob, I'm not sure yet because it's. Uh, three or so weeks away, so when it gets closer, I'll post for you, okay? I'll do a community post letting you know what time. Chris 
so Katie, maybe me and Lainey can fly over and join the stream. That would be so much fun, Christy. April says, my daughter will be four Wednesday. I wish we could be at Disneyland. Aw, happy early birthday to your beautiful daughter. Can we drop some birthday cakes in the chat for April's beautiful daughter's birthday? Victoria said, my favorite movie is The Princess Bride. Oh, that's a, that's a really good movie. I haven't seen that in so long, though. Another Brian says, Finding Neverland. Oh, that's another great one. Eddie said, Angels in the Outfield and Backdrop. Those are both really good, too. Man, I'm going to make like a, a movie list because I haven't seen any of these in so long. Mary says, checking for reservation. For today or for the 11th, Mary? Arlene says, Lord of the Rings. Mm. It's a good one, but I, I must confess it's not one of my favorites, Arlene. <laughs> I know so many people love it, but I had a hard time with, with those ones. They're good movies, don't get me wrong, but just not my jam. Kelly says, Friday the 13th. Oh, wow, we have a horror fan in the house. Christy says, ah, oh, April, I miss being a young mama. But you got your grandbabies now. That's even better because you can like play with them and spoil them and then like they start getting cranky and moody and you're like, here mom. <laughs> Mike says, thanks Eileen. I don't think it works by nomination. Eileen Hunter said, my favorite movies are The Wizard of Oz and Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Adley, I know you've got to be stoked for the new one. Apollo's at the Matrix. Ooh. Mm. Silly's good movies. <laughs> Izzy said, oh, that's a hard question. I have so many faves. Okay, like top five, Izzy. Living Dead Fam said, favorite Disney is Haunted Mansion. Non-Disney, Halloween. How do those not surprise me? <laughs> Both really good movies, though. <laughs> Mary said 11. Haha, <laughs> I've had more than enough this weekend. <laughs> I don't know how you guys came, like, in the rain and everything. You guys are crazy. Hey, Grumpy323. They said, hi, how's everyone doing? Long time. No, I'm assuming so. But welcome in, Grumpy. How you doing? Carmen said, Peter Pan movie and Elm Street, Beetlejuice, and Scream movies, Miss Katie. Wow, that's a broad spectrum there, Carmen. Peter Pan and a bunch of horror movies. <laughs> April says, I have so many favorites, but my top ones are The Notebook and her funny ones, Super Troopers. You know, I've never seen Super Troopers. I know, I know. Shock and awe. I need to add it to my list. I'm going to end up going back and like screenshotting all of this and like writing a list. Christy says, I can't do Lord of the Rings too. It's too violent for me. It's not the violence for me. I just, I don't honestly know what it is. I don't know. It's, I don't mind watching it. It's just not at the very top of my list. Uh, she said, that's why June was hard for me to stomach. I'm awake. <laughs> that's all right. Different strokes for different folks, right? Izzy said, nobody hate me, but I've never seen Harry Potter. What, Izzy? I would have thought that would be like one of your favorites. You seem like a Harry Potter like kind of person. Notorious one, thank you for those birthday cakes for April's daughter. Allie said, I'm excited. The teaser was pretty good. Chrissy said, the bridge is over Madison County. Oh wow, I haven't seen that one in ages either. That's a good one. Izzy says, oh, yes, the notebook is top 10. Same, same. Jacob, or this is me. Carmen said, OMG, oh, really, really easy. I love Harry Potter movies. Arlene said, Mrs. Doubtfire. Oh, that's a really good one, too. Anything with Robin Williams, though, honestly. He's such a good actor. April says, you got to watch it. It's so funny. Katie, where are you, Katie Flores? <laughs> you want to say hi? <laughs> hi, Daddy. Oh, you want to say hi? <laughs> what you doing? You want to see us? Nope. Hey, 
Okay, of course, we're in line with you. That it says, what's the super trooper? Is it the goofy one? <laughs> that, no, that's like a, a people movie, not an animated one. That it says, or that line Christian said, if you had to choose, what is your favorite Disney character? Mine is Goofy. I have four, because I'm indecisive. Perks of being a female. Um, <laughs> Chippendale, Winnie the Pooh, and Eeyore. Those are my four faves. Hey, Chris. She said, hello, my friends. How are you doing, Chris? Izzy says, okay, top five. Notebook, Pride and Prejudice, Great Gatsby, Phantom of the Opera, and probably Liz. Ah, Izzy, we're like soul sisters with movies, girl. Yes, 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 yes. Victoria says, I even throw in an ice cream because you can't have a birthday cake without birthday ice cream. Oh, hang on guys. I got a phone call. I'd get rid of it. Yeah, no, I told it, I told it a while ago, but I remember that part in the office. I'm not sure. I think we talked about like 11.30ish, I think. I assume dressed, but if you want to message and ask and let me know what they think is best, I'm streaming right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Bye. Yeah, and, and, and send me a picture when you're done. I want to see. Alright, have fun. Bye. All right, that was one of my cohorts for the special event tomorrow. Uh, Notori said, I'd even throw in an ice cream because you can't have a birthday cake without birthday ice cream. Yes, okay, but what flavor ice cream? Harry 
looking back, Sanchez. Sanchez, they lost the plot. The Fast and Furious movies, Car in Space, Jump the Shark. <laughs> Victoria said, simple, maybe I just love a classic flavor. Jesse says, Katie, how's your day going, my friend? Going well, Jesse. How's your day going? There goes Casey, chugging along. Lisa said, pretty women is my favorite. Ooh, that's another good one. April says, after Paul passed, I stopped watching Fast and Furious. I felt like they shouldn't have continued without him. Oh, and I did manage to um, order some cookies for tonight. So right around the time Anthony should be getting here, we'll be able to go and pick up those delicious cookies from over at Harbor Galley, the infamous chocolate chip cookies. not expecting. Leslie says, they gave up after Paul passed away. They should have ended Fast and Furious then. Elisa said, Harry Potter and Tangled. Ooh, good movies. Jesse says, holy chalupa, Katie. It's good to hear my friend. <laughs> hey, Esmeralda, welcome in. She says, what's up, Katie and friends? How many genders? Oh, one. So, Esmeralda, we're talking about our favorite movies. Could be Disney or non-Disney or both. Mainstream Matt says, looks like another wonderful evening at Disneyland. Always, my friend, always. How can we not have a wonderful evening? It's pure magic here. I mean, look at that. Does it get any more beautiful? Come on. Stunning. Carmen said, ooh, cookies. I love cookies, Miss Katie. Delicious. Victoria says, oh, I love white over Yeah, just one. Roy Orbison's Oh Pretty Woman. It's a great song. the boat and away from the dock. At this time, my friends, all seats are going to be final. And my friends on this side, as long as you sit all the way back in your seats today, friends on this side, just a smidge forward. Perfect. At this time, all seats are final. All right, guys, I'll get caught up with the chat after the ride. Enjoy. Welcome to our journey of the story. My name is Christina, and I'll be your storyteller and captain today. For your safety, we ask that you please remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the boat at all times. Please supervise your children, and children, please supervise your grown-ups. We also ask there is no eating or drinking aboard our boat. Now, most people visit Enchanted Worlds through the pages of a book. But for those of us visiting in person, we often find a way to magical or even a bit medicine. But don't worry, folks, that it appears we just passed through the jaws of Monstro the Wind. We're going to be transported into Storybook Land. Wow. No, 
now if you thought Monstro was scary, up ahead on our left, the spy the cave of That's the one of the oldest animal. trees in the park, guys. He's constantly chasing after those three little pigs. But luckily for them, they live safely across the canal in those three little houses. With a one made of straw, one of sticks, and a guaranteed wolf-proof grass. Our story now takes a turn for the strange. As we round the corner, we'll see the quaint English village of Alice. Here she chased the white rabbit down the rabbit hole and fell down, down, Hey, King B. Is there one minute? We're going to see some of that. And we're going to see some of that. Your light is lucky to come. This is the wee man of the dog children's first clue with a little help from some pixie dust. From there they found a way to never land. Welcome in, Uncle Christopher. They never ever have to grow up. Straight ahead now in the city of Agrabah, this is where a certain street rat named Aladdin first met Princess Jasmine in the marketplace. There he stole a loaf of bread and then the princess's heart. In fact, these twinkling archways we now pass under are the very same ones a lot when Jasmine flew over, sideways and under, on a magic carpet ride to a whole new world. Thank you, Jesse. <laughs> While some of the best stories are filled with love and light, they have their dark places as well. Places of mystery like the Cave of Wonders straight ahead. Legend says that a genie of the lamp resides in this cave and that if you set it free, you'd be granted three wishes. Let's all make a wish inside the cave and see if it comes true. The white wished for safety when she fled from the evil queen, and she found that safe place in the little cottage to our right. It's the home of the seven dwarves. If you listen carefully, you might just hear them whistle while they work. And of course, Cinderella's fairy godmother granted her a wish to go to the ball after her wicked stepmother forbade her from going. But when she missed her midnight curfew, her coach turned back into a pumpkin. Wishes now their limits, but thankfully, true love does not. She now is the most charming in the castle atop the hill. While some of us may dream of happily ever after, Others dream of drifting off to sleep on hills and hills of flowers. Just like the next to our left, inspired by the 1933 Soy 60 cartoon, and all the Hey, Sheila, welcome in. There's magic everywhere here in store. The plant, including these trees, made small by an enchantment by Tinker Bell the Fairy. Just like the Lost Boys of Neverland, these trees will never grow up. Just ahead now, on our left, we'll see the manner of in, Mr. Andrew Toad. Road. Now, folks, if you knocked on his door right now, you find that no one is home. But if you venture out to Fantasyland, you might be able to join Mr. Toad on a wild ride. Beyond that is the end of their day. This is where sisters Anna and Elsa met their friends and friends, and left Kristoff and Sven, and learned their magic card room out of ice cars the power of sisterly love. Straight ahead now is the Alpine Village of Japan. This woodcarver wished the promised star to see his puppet become a real boy. And after Pinocchio proved his daring, the blue fairy granted that very wish. Our final story today is going to be that of a little mermaid named Ariel. She traded her fins for a set of shaky legs so she could follow her dreams of becoming a part of our world. Her father, King Triton, was an Atlantic up to our left. From there below the waves, he was his all you fine folks, a happily ever after. My friends along this dock side, please be ready to be hands on deck to her away from the dock as we approach it. And Deborah Boy today, please remain seated until you are interrupted to stand. All right, folks, we're going to stay seated a moment longer and pull up a little bit further along this dock. Thank you for 
all the likes, guys. Appreciate you all so much. Stand up together. Ready? One, two, three. Group hug. Please watch your step in. Use those handrails, folks. Exit will be straight ahead towards the candy cane lighthouse. It may look like a candy cane, but I promise you it tastes like a lighthouse. <laughs> it may look like a candy cane, but it tastes like a lighthouse. I've never heard that one before. Thank you, too. members unless they wave to say hi because sometimes they don't like to be on camera. I don't like putting people on camera unless they want to be on camera because some people get upset about it. Hopefully you heard me earlier but welcome in King B. He said Child's Play, Austin Powers, Gold Member, and Apocalypto. Oh the Austin Powers movies are so funny. Carmen said, got Albert movie and Scooby Doo movies. Jacob said, can we ask Anthony his favorite movies? Yes, when he gets here, friend. Mary said, Ugh, cookies. I'm craving some Cinnabon right now. Cinnabon's always a good idea. Jacob said, School of Rock is my favorite movie. That's a good one. Carmen said I have the Pretty Woman movie on VHS, Miss Katie. Man, how many of us still have VHS players? I think I still have one. April says another one is My Best Friend's Girl. I love Dane Cook. That's a good one, too. <laughs> she says, Mary, don't say Cinnabon, right? We're going to have us all drooling here. Uh, King B said for Disney, Toy Story, Coco, and Lion King. Oh, all greats. Victoria said, Dane Cook is funny, but not my favorite comedian. Jesse says, I guess we're on the boat instead of the train today. Interesting. April says, who is your favorite comedian? Ooh, that's a hard one. There's so many good ones. Carmen said, oh no, scary little. Oh, uh, Notorious said Robin Williams and said, oh, I know a movie I can recommend. One of my favorites, Interstellar. April said he was great. April said I love Gabriel Iglesias. He's pretty funny too. I'm gonna get on a different one. What the hell? Uh, Rogers said hello from Sheba. Victoria said, his costume is still a little tear to my eyes. Yes, Robin Williams will be missed for a very, very, very long time. Rudy 
this is a Hello All. Andrew said, this is such a cute ride, I love this ride, but somehow it always makes me sleepy, almost like a dream. Walt well, was so obsessed with miniatures, it's the reason why this ride is here. Yes, his train sets in his backyard and all that, which also guys, if you're ever in the area or if you're a local, Another great thing to check out is over near Griffith Park, there is a um, train museum for Walt Disney. And it's like a little mini museum. It has a lot of artifacts and actual trains that Walt had. It's open to the public the third Sunday of every month. Um, you can search, they do have a Facebook and an Instagram page. But it's really cool to go check out something special unique different and every once in a while they'll have special guest speakers sometimes um imagineers will be there sometimes family from walt will be there it's a really 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 cool place to go and see and said walt disney is so random maybe that's why disneyland is so special there really is something for everyone there is there truly is and he looks very, uh, oh, that's me. Because he said that was such a great ride. Thank you for the boat ride. You're welcome. <laughs> and says, don't lick the lighthouse. Check. <laughs> I mean, you can. It's just not going to taste like peppermint. It's going to taste like a lighthouse. Which says, hello, Miss Kate. Welcome in, bud. Andrew says, Kate, if you're going on the teacups, there is just one major rule. Are you ready? I was born ready. Don't spill the tea, friend. Not a single drop. Brian says, I'm back. Guess who's back? Back again. Brian's back. Tell a friend. Uh, Rodizzi says, it's a pack today. And it was not too, too bad when I got here, but it seems like people have gotten off of work and it's definitely busier than it was. Hey, Faber. How you doing, friend? They said, Disney, the Lion King, too. Very nice. Which says, what? It's still doing out there? It is. But the sun's going down. It's golden hour. Once we go a little bit over, you'll get to see it. It's actually really pretty right now. Andrew says, hello, Katie. Cast members not being on camera. Oh my gosh. Boy, do I love seeing all the streamers. I want my 15 minutes of fame that only lasts seconds. Hello, well. We miss seeing you in the park, my friend. Jennifer says, hi, I'm back. Welcome back, Jennifer Alvarez. Victoria says, I don't mind being on camera. I am a natural born entertainer slash actor. Jennifer says, I just ate the pussy. Kinky says, I just donated all my DVDs yesterday. Hello. <laughs> I still have so many. Carmen said, Captain Hook with Robin Williams. So Hook, Carmen. That's a really good movie. The food fight scene. Oh, so funny. Jennifer Alvarez says, Tamales. Ooh, what kind of tamales? Arlene says, the Shawshank Redemption. Want to go to see her? No, you're great. You're great. Been there before, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no problem. That's all good. Shawshank Redemption is like her hate movie. That one and the Green Mile. I love both of those. Amy said, how are you guys? Doing well, Amy. How are you? Hello. How are you? She says, hey, hey, Katie. Got an update on the kids. We'll be hopefully seeing them on the 12th of April and taking them out bowling. So happy. I'm so happy for you, Helen. Oh, my heart is so full right now knowing that. Like, literally, I've got chills. Excited for you. Her casual set Cinnabon is so sweet. Just say it three times so you can get a cavity. <laughs> right? Just like saying it makes your teeth hurt. Oh, I forgot. There's. Look how beautiful that is, guys. Sunset to Disney. Does it get any better? The only other thing that I love as much is uh, the sunsets in DCA. Those are spectacular. Amy says, 
says, is it cold? Um, it's cooler. It's not cold per se, but it is definitely cooler. The wind has died down, it seems, though, which is good news if they're going to do fireworks. Victoria says, I have a funny story about the reason my parents bought their first VHS movie camera. Do tell, my friend. Carmen said, what is excellent, Miss Katie? Your favorite, Carmen, teacups. <laughs> Katie said, it's a beautiful night. It is me. This is a film that's been filmed, y'all. I bought this year with Carmen. I did not realize it was coming really fast. Surprise! Dixie said, Bienvenidos al Mati Park. Twin sides with the moon and the sun, so it can creep. Permanezca sentado y mantenga sus manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro de la parte. Y por favor, cuide a sus pequeños. Chao. As a mama of two children, I can tell you that at some point in things, the kids are I completely understand. I'm so happy for you. Jacob's like, where are we going now? On the teacups. Jacob's like, yeah, we're going on teacups. But we're not going to get crazy dizzy because Anthony's not here yet. Victoria said, sentence in Hawaii are breathtakingly beautiful. Oh, I won't argue with you there. They are spectacular there. I think any island location has crazy beautiful sunsets though. Have a good jo uh, day, dog's life. Have a beautiful evening. They said, I gotta go see you guys next magical street. Next week said, I love Hawaii. Very picturesque. Yes. Uh, Jacob, it is 6.55 p.m. Rob said, sunsets in Australia are pretty good, too. Desert sunsets are beautiful, too. Um, up where I live, we get some pretty awesome sunsets. And Terry said, well, they wanted to record my sister's C-section birth. The problem was that in all the chaos and commotion that the first time birth ensues, my dad accidentally left it in the car. Oh, no! Yeah. Well, it's the thought that counts, right? Favorite said, did I mention my favorite movie is Lion King? You did. Great movie. And then follow the signs to the nearest exit. And she says, what I love about Hawaii is the warm weather, or sorry, warm water year round. Yes. Especially here in California, and I believe even like the East Coast, for the most part, the water is so cold. But Hawaii, yes, it's definitely much warmer. Uh, Jacob, at least 30 minutes to an hour, somewhere in there, depending on traffic. Jesse said, yes, Kitty, I know that Anthony is not here, but because he does that spinning thing way too fast, my friend. Yes. Arlene said, being on a cruise is the best sunset. I've never been on a cruise. I'd imagine, yes, they probably do have amazing sunsets, though. Claire Wilde says, magic in the air every evening. Yes. Speaking of magic, there goes the monorail again. Vines over there. Rob says it's pretty dang busy. Yes, it is spring break currently, Rob, here in the states. So uh, last week, this week, and the next couple of weeks are going to be fairly packed here in the parks. Probably at or close to capacity most of the time. I'm not going to spin it, so it'll just be however they take up spin on their own. So nothing too well. Ahora comienza el Mati Park. Para su seguridad, permanezca sentado y mantenga sus manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro de la taza.
always a bit busy. Miss Muffin says, I'm still dizzy from last time with the chew and hand <laughs> How do you think I felt? I literally was getting so insanely dizzy that day. And she says, oh, I want to do the Alaskan cruise. <laughs> April says, I could never do a cruise. Hey, Justin Ray, El Gato here. He says, hello, Katie. This week is my B-Day week before oh, my birthday yeah, well, on Friday, and I'll be in a Disney park. Happy early birthday, Justin Ray. Unfortunately, I will not be here Friday. I'm missing you by one day, my friend. But happy, happy, happy early birthday to you. You should go have at least one drink to celebrate over in Ogis while you're here. Do a walk up and go have your 21st birthday drink at Ogas. For those of you waiting for the Maltese party, come see Costco's Trans Fast. It is not on the Isabel Bar. So please head all the way down and take an eye at available space. Sabria, it's it's the music. Sabria, it's the music here at Costco. Costco. It's exceptionally loud right now. Once those green doors have opened, please walk and walk your step. Once again, please walk to your Tika by promise they will not spin away. Aloha, Noah James Markham. How are you, my friend? Hope you are doing well. Notorious says, I enjoy the Mediterranean cruise, except for my inheritance getting capsized. My mom had just had to find an art gallery doing a sale on the Thomas Kincaid lithographs. I would be just as guilty. I can't say anything there. I have so many Thomas Kincaid Disney pieces, it's ridiculous. Please remain seated with your doors closed until all the teacups have run out of steam. Once again, please remain seated. Justin Ray said, oh no, well, it's okay. And, and thanks. And no trace. <laughs> Thank you. Hector, glad you got home safely. April says, oh no, I can't because of anxiety and being claustrophobic. That's fair enough. I understand that. Rodizzi says, beignet time after teacup ride? <laughs> Maybe later. We'll see. We're actually uh, going to be picking up cookies here not too long from now. No, James says, making some dinner right now while watching you live. Whee! What's for dinner? Hey, Tyler Silva, welcome in. Let's do purple. We've we'll done purple in a while. Oh, wait, we did purple the other day, but solid purple. It's not the crazy purple. <laughs> Tyler said, hi guys, happy Monday. Happy Monday to you too, Tyler. So yesterday is Palm Sunday. Yes. Notoria said they would have been framed by now, but the frames are worth more than the frames. <laughs> and she says, mmm, cookies. <laughs> Justin, the, Justin Ray, the cats actually used to come out quite a bit after COVID because they were used to having the run of the park. So I used to see them everywhere. Now you rarely see them out. I used to laugh because there's one that likes to live over in Batu and he would like jump all over the place. I was always like, parkour, parkour. <laughs> Brian, oh, that's not for me. Jesse said, happy early birthday, Justin. I hope you have a great day at Disneyland. Saber said, this is just a toesome day. Am I right? <laughs> Ooh, Miss Muffin says, what's your favorite tea? I love English breakfast tea. And if we're talking cold tea, peach iced tea. Brian Silva says, oh, Emily, right, it's like I was just up this room. Please remain seated facing the inside of your teacup with your doors closed at all times and enjoy your spin. Uh, Rodizzi says, how many hours do you live stream? It varies. We'll probably be here till park close or right around then tonight. Woo! Here we go, guys. Hey, Rainbow Disney, welcome in. Get caught up with the 
chat after the ride. I can't read the chat and <laughs> and watch the stream. I get too dizzy, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Boats, but should we do Casey Jr. so we can get that sunset? I just feel like those two rides are the best to see the sunset at like golden hour. So pretty. Hey Daisy, she says hello Katie and everyone. Justin Ray said, Katie, on Saturday at Universal, it was raining so hard, and when I was streaming, going to Super Nintendo World, I slipped. Oh my gosh, I hope you're okay. I remember you saying it was gonna uh, rain, or that you were gonna go, and I knew it was gonna rain. Oh my goodness, my friend. All right, we'll go do Casey Jr. God, look how beautiful that is, guys. It's one thing that Like It Is and I have in common. We both, like, are obsessed with sunsets. They were already pretty wet though from the rain, right? Alrighty guys. Nice to see I had like 30 million sunset pictures. 
Hey, never too many. There's actually a name for it, and I cannot think of what it's called, but there's a name for people that are obsessed with sunsets. I can't remember what it is. Alejandro said, sunsets are the best. Ada says, no, I have to run to the store and then stop for a strawberry pina colada smoothie. And a side of Starburst. Lily says, I'm guilty on getting the lavender matcha this whole week from Starbucks. Saber says, I used to live in the country and I used to see the most magical sunsets. Maybe we should start posting sunset pictures in Discord. I'd love to see everyone's sunset pictures. Justin Ray said, by the way, I ate a universal churro on Saturday. Now I need to eat the Disneyland churro. Disneyland churro will blow it out of the park, my friend. No pun intended. Main Street Matt said, thank you again for sharing the magic with all of us. Disneyland content creators are the best. Oh, I forgot to answer your question. Um, my favorite piece of art that I have is, um, oh gosh, there's two. There's two that I really like. Um, one is a Kincaid piece and it's the Disneyland 50th anniversary um, canvas painting. Um, it's spectacular and it's extra special to me because I was here with my family and some friends on the 50th anniversary. Um, the park was at capacity. It was madness, but it was magical. It was the first day Fantasmic had come back in like forever, like years and years. And we camped out for like six hours for a waterfront spot for Fantasmic. Um, I think we only did like a couple of rides that day because it was just so packed, but it was the best day. And that year was so cool because all year they did giveaways randomly. So like when you would scan it at the gates, it would randomly pick you, someone, not necessarily you, but it would pick someone and you would get a random prize. It could be a shirt, it could be a pin, it could be a hat, ears, whatever. Um, and we actually got picked for a lanyard with four special pins that were limited edition just to people that got chosen for that. So I still have that. That's one of like my favorite things is that painting though. It just, it triggers so many memories and it's just such a spectacular painting. And I remember coming to the parks when Thomas Kincaid was here in person on Main Street with his, it was, it was all roped off. There were cast members around him protecting him so people wouldn't bother him. But um, he had a massive, massive canvas and all of his paints and he was out on Main Street for, gosh, like a week or more out there painting it. And I remember coming to the parks and seeing it in person as he was painting it. So super special, super meaningful. And of course he's no longer with us, so it's it's extra special to have a piece of his work that he created himself. Uh, Notorious One said, now that he's no longer here, I have grown to appreciate them more. Yes, beautiful sunsets. Miss Muffin says, sunset tattoo me. Oh yes. <laughs> Ada says, no Starburst, I have some already on my pillow. <laughs> oh man. Izzy says, I'm trying the lavender one. Yum. Week says, I love the way the stars look outside of the big city. Yes, nothing like it really. Um, I want to go at some point um, out to Joshua Tree during one of the um, meteor showers and stuff and, and go watch them out there. You can see them pretty well where I live out in the desert, but it's even more special out that way. Justin Ray said, if I eat the churro at Disneyland, Will the charges be dropped since I did commit a crime for not eating a Disneyland churro in the first place? <laughs> mm. Maybe we'll mark it down to a misdemeanor. <laughs> Ada says, I'm not a big fan of Starbucks. Ada, what is wrong with you? Queen of Hearts said, hello, Katie. Hope you're having a good day at the parks. Always, my friend. I hope you're having a lovely day, too. Put the baby down and just... Everyone's saying hi to Queen of Hearts. <laughs> Main Street Matt says, my favorite Disneyland piece in my house are signed by Ex Atencio. I have several Pirates of the Caribbean pieces signed by him. Oh, how cool. I'm not sure who that is. I'll have to look them up. A lot of times I'll recognize the, the pieces by the artwork, not so much by the painter. I, I'm so bad with names. Brian says, OMG, I've stargazed out in Joshua Tree. It's amazing. 
should retry that challenge. Hopefully I say this correctly. If I don't, I'm so sorry. Um, thank you so much for subscribing, Scaliente. And welcome to the channel. Thank you, Saber. He says, people who love sunsets are called, okay, hopefully I don't say this wrong, um, Oparophiles? Justin Ray said, I used to eat at Starbucks back when they used to sell the morning bun. I don't think I ever had that. <laughs> right, Izzy? She's like, Ada, who are you? No, Starbucks. <laughs> I think Ada and Justin now have misdemeanors. <laughs> Carmen says, I'm back, Miss Katie. Welcome back, Carmen. Man, the sunset's going to be done by the time we get on the ride. Uh, Jesse said, oh, that's not for me. Okay, April says, welcome. Notorious said, as someone who never liked coffee, the only Starbucks drink I would get is a hot chocolate. I had my first cake pop a little while ago, and it wasn't that bad. You know what's really good, too, is the white hot chocolate. It's a totally different flavor. It's very smooth. Um, definitely thick consistency and kind of heavy, so I wouldn't get a big one, but it's really good. Wink says, I've never had Starbucks fun fact, lol. I've been in them and they all smell nice. Oh, wow. Oh, I know you were in one the other night with um, Fairy Place and I and uh, Caleb. The XP says, Starbucks does have good hot chocolates. I will say though, whenever I'm in the park, I get the Disney hot chocolate because I do prefer the Disney hot chocolate to Starbucks when I'm here. It's so good. Saber says, anything else you need to know, I am here to tell. <laughs> Thank you, Saber. As he says, but Ada, pink drinks taste like Starburst. Oh, now she's going to be living at Starbucks. <laughs> Justin Rice, dang, charges. Ada says, strike one, lol. Hey, Jeffrey Carmack, welcome in. He says, thank you, I'm stuck in bed in Vegas and I enjoy watching you guys having a good time there at Disney. I used to have a season pass to Disney at Knoxbury. I used to use them all the thank you. You're so welcome, Jeffrey, and thank you so much for being here with us. I hope you uh, are doing well and recovering. I'm not sure what you have or you know what it's the matter, but I hope your uh, recovery is quick, my friend. I just love this little train, it's so cute. Vibrant, bright colors. Ada says, oh, Izzy, pink drinks are not good. What? Ada, we need to reass, I think it's just that your, your flavor profile is like insanely sweet, that like, it's not sweet enough for you. Jesse says, oh, I love hot chocolate, Katie. It's my favorite, it's yummy. Hey, Jessie the cowgirl, welcome in. She said, hi. <laughs> Leslie says, Ada, what about a strawberry acai lemonade? Notorious one said, white hot chocolate? Hmm, I will give that a try next winter. EXP said, I'll bet Disney makes great hot chocolate. Yes. It's cheaper than Starbucks too and you can mobile order it at a lot of places. So it's a lot more convenient to get. But I will warn you, it is insanely hot typically when you get it. So don't take a drink right away, let it cool off. It is very, very hot. April says, my son is a hot chocolate obsessed. I'll have to get him a white chocolate one. Yes. Dave R, welcome in. He says, we'll be taking my son to Disneyland when I get back from deployment. I love that, Dave. I bet he will have a fantastic time. And thank you so much for your service. Justin Ray said, Kitty, I also rode the Red Glamour trams at Universal Studios Hollywood for the studio tour. How exciting! I saw that they brought those back. That's so cool. Jeffrey says, thank you very much, and I appreciate it. You're so welcome. Can we drop some hearts in the chat for Jeffrey for his recovery? Carmen said, did I miss any rides, Miss Katie? Uh, we did the teacups, Carmen. There the train goes.
Notorious once said, Mad respect to all the service members in uniform. I still treasure my dad's original dog tag. Yes, I agree. Much respect. Main Street Matt says, Ex Atencio was one of Walt's original artists. He wrote the song and talking pirate lyrics for Pirates of the Caribbean. He also worked a lot with Bob Gurr on Haunted Mansion. Oh, now I'm jealous, my friend. Now I'm super jealous. Like I said, I'm terrible with names, but original Imagineer artwork, that is extra special. And she says, okay, hear me out. I order an iced hot chocolate from Starbucks. It's pretty much chocolate milk. <laughs> Good though. <laughs> they used to have, um, not at Starbucks, but Dairy Queen used to have um, a frozen hot chocolate that I used to get that was so good. I don't know if they still have it or not. We didn't have a Dairy Queen near us for like 10 years or more. And one just opened a few months ago and it's been cold so I haven't even thought to look and see if they still carry it. But oh man, that used to be my kryptonite. Dave R says, hi everyone. How you doing, Dave? Justin Ray said, Katie, my first reaction to the Red Glamour Trams is me yelling, oh my god. <laughs> They're pretty cool looking. Carmen said, oh, okay, that's good to know, Miss Katie. I don't like teacups, right? <laughs> Carmen, it's your favorite. What are you talking about? Carmen, I will never understand how you don't like teacups, but you like the Roger Rabbit, right? Because I feel like Roger Rabbit spins more than the teacups. So, splain. Jesse said, oh, that's not for me. Jacob said, can I have some prayers? I found out some good and bad news today. Definitely, Jacob, sending some prayers your way, my friend. Amy said, yay, my favorite ride. Christy said, Starbucks with cocoa, it's too bitter for me. Ada says, I've had the caramel frappuccino from Starbucks, they're good, but if I had a choice, I'd pick Dunkin' Frozen Caramel, six pints of caramel, and five, Ada! It's like diabetes in a cup. <laughs> Six bumps of caramel and five sugars? Holy guacamole. You want some coffee with that sugar? Brian said storybook. Notorious said, my dad was an Air Force mechanic, one of my uncles was an ex-army ranger, and his brother was a Navy officer on a nuclear submarine. Oh, wow. That's really cool. Alright. Chrissy said, not sweet enough for me. Air Force. Thank you so much for your service, Dave. I love that. Appreciate you guys so much for everything you do and all the sacrifices you make. All right, guys. I'll get caught up with the chat. Enjoy the ride.
Katie, did you see that strawberry drink Berry Place had the other night? Holy strawberries, Batman! I did, Christy. I teased him because I was like, you want some drink with those strawberries? I told him it was like, it looks like a, um, a strawberry cocktail instead of a, or like a fruit salad instead of a drink. Oh, Dad said the last one. Herman said teacup's ride is outside and I get dizzy faster than the Roger Rabbit ride is inside and I don't get that dizzy on Tea Katie. Hmm, interesting, Herman. Never thought of it that way. Hey, Jason Brower, he said, I'll just have an iced coffee with Bailey's. Mmm, yum. To the right, to the right, to the right. Jesse said, all aboard, choo-choo, chugga-chugga, chugga-chugga. And again, Jessie the Cowgirl, thank you so much for becoming a channel member. Welcome to the channel. <laughs> Ada said, well, at least we know to not take Ada to the Wonka's factory. I'm still shocked that she made it out of the Hershey's uh, factory uh, without having a coronary because holy smokes, it's like all sugar there. April says, my cousin and uncle are retired Navy and my other uncle retired Marine. Well, thank you to them for their service as well. Thank you guys for dropping those horseshoes in the chat. Just the cowgirls, thank you all. Jesse said, I think I can, I think I can. He said, Leslie, OMG, if Wonka's was real, Ada would live there. <laughs> Facts. Ada said, OMG, I had a s'mores at Hershey Park and I couldn't eat half. It was mega sweet. Whoop, whoop. Caught up with the chat, guys. One sec, guys. I am just adjusting my order pick on time. That way we can do another Oh, and I was going to ask if one of my mods wouldn't mind um, putting some information about adding um, some mods to the channel to the top of the chat. Just so I don't have to keep repeating it. Good night, Eddie. Thank you for being here with us tonight. Have a beautiful night. Um, that way I don't have to keep repeating it throughout the stream. If, if one of the mods wouldn't mind doing that, I would greatly appreciate it. Just that I'll be um, doing like a community post later this week um, with all the details and the application to apply. Oh, 
La segunda llamada para los dos. All right, and Peter Pan's back up, so we'll try and get on there as well. Just to tell girls, say, thank you, no thank you, my friends. Appreciate you. Leslie says, matter of fact, I think it'll be a great idea to take you to Wonka's factory. You'll be swimming in that chocolate lake. We'll just enjoy our time at Disney without you all. <laughs> right, Ada? Wonka's or Mickey? Which one would you choose? Dave R said, great, thanks. Esmeralda said, what a nice ride. Yeah, hopefully um, Anthony will be here in the next 30 minutes or so, Jacob. It just depends on traffic. Notorious said, Casey Jr. is a very underrated ride. I agree. Another Brian says, don't drink coffee, so steamed milk with a shot of vanilla is my thing. Ooh, that sounds yummy, though. <laughs> As he said, Leslie, OMG, if Wonka's was real, Ada would live there. Ada said, OMG, I had a s'mores at Hershey Park. I couldn't eat half. It was mega sweet. What? Ada couldn't eat her candy? Were you sick, Ada? EXP says, I love everything chocolate. Ha <laughs> ha. One of my favorites is chocolate covered gummy bears. They're so good. If you haven't tried them, you must. And he says, have a good night, everyone. I'm going to get some rest. Ooh, there we go, Allie. She said, I'm more of a gummies girl. See, chocolate covered gummy bears, Allie. Best of both worlds. Victoria says, I'm very picky about what chocolate I enjoy eating. I am too. I will, Jacob. I'll have Anthony say hi. Don't worry. Once he gets here. EXP said, gummies are good, but I love all candy and things with sugar. <laughs> And he said, you're very welcome. You know what's really good too? Um, like sour gummy worms, gummy worms in general, and sour patch kids. Oh, so good. But I can only do them in like small doses. Jason Bauer said, uh, tonight I had an iced coffee with Kahlua. Yum. You can actually get that here in DCA. Um, the cappuccino cart in DCA has hot and cold coffee drinks and you can add a shot of Bailey's or Kahlua or I think Jameson, but don't quote me on Jameson. Dave R said, thank you for streaming this. Makes me excited to come home and visit with my son. Good night. Big time difference where I'm at. No worries, Dave. Have a beautiful night and appreciate you being here. Mary says, I don't think we can pin. It has to be from your end. Really? Really? Okay. No worries. Once Anthony gets, Once Anthony gets here, I'll uh, type it up and pin it myself. Thank you, ladies, for trying, though. Appreciate it. Notoria says, I only like Crunch, Kit Kat, and Indies chocolates. Now we need a trip to Olive Garden, guys. He says, Andy's mints. Mm. <laughs> Saber said, I would own the factory. I would live in the factory just to own it and then sell it just to buy all the Disney movies and put them on a big shelf. Izzy says, I like dark chocolate and pretty much anything with peanut butter. Jacob says, you should come to Hershey Park in stream. That'd be fun. Hi, just one. Thank you. Christy says, does anyone have those yummy dark chocolate round candies with the blueberry in the middle? Work size from Costco? Mm, yes, those are so good. Those ones and the acai berry ones. They're delicious. Izzy says, get chocolate gummy bears. And even chocolate covered red vines are really good too. Christy says, Star Patch Kids mixed with movie popcorn is the best. Yes. Izzy said, ooh, sour punch straws for me. Oh my gosh. Yes. 
We get a big old bucket of them from like Costco or somewhere. So good. Tickets to Katie when Anthony gets here. I have a question of the day for him. Okay. Esmeralda says, I haven't been to Olive Garden in ages. Me neither. I think we need a trip. Hey, a chew. Says Katie and Matt, how do you meet the street magic makers? Hey, do you want a chew? You ready for more teacups madness? I don't know if you know or not. One of my mods found it and sent it to me, uh, a chew. USO Scooter Chris actually recorded a little snippet of us on the teacups from the outside. Pretty funny stuff if you want to go check it out. Linda Lee says, whiskey and candy, y'all making me jealous. Yeah, you can't be in this stream without talking about food and drinks. It, it comes up no matter what. It never fails. Queen of Hearts says, I can't have chocolate or anything sweet sugar free for me. I can only have little bits here and there. Not fair when the kids have sweets. LOL. Oh no. Well, sometimes a little can go a long way. Hey, lucky fan. How are you doing, my friend? The Tori Swin says, I like to call Andy's pillow mints because all the hotels I stay at cleaning maids with leave an Andy's mint on my pillow after cleaning. Looking for that big old tip. They definitely get it for me from that. Saber says, who would live in Disney Park with whoever you want to bring just for a day and why would you live in Disney? Mm. Raise his hand. <laughs> <laughs> she said, you have my attention to take this. Mainstream Matt says, Costco has frozen banana slices covered in Reese's peanut butter and chocolate. So good. Yum. Mike says, okay, the groceries are put away. Now we relax. Enjoy the ride, guys. Oh, oh. Core memory, right? 
All right, let me see if it is time for um, us to regain. Oh, we got a few minutes, I think. Oh, you know what? Well, no, I'll save that one. Let's see, we got a few minutes. Let's do, how about Pinocchio? So it's 15 minutes, we'll try it out. As he says, crispy or millionaire's bacon. Ew, I don't even think this is 15. German says, hello, Charles. Hey, Sue Moreno, how are you doing? Sue says, hello, Main Street Cowgirl. Christy says, millionaire's bacon, huh? Mary says, I finally found the Reese's Covered Bananas, and they weren't that great. I was pretty sad, not gonna lie. says, Senor Sapos Viaje Salvaje. <laughs> Christy says, I saw frozen dulip cups at, for sale at Costco the other day. Only $11.99 for eight cups. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Claire Wild says, ooh. Hey, Butch. How you doing, friend? He says, hello, everyone. Jason Allen, how are you doing? He says, yay, no more Mickey's Mix Tragic for a little bit. Can leave sound up for a whole stream now. <laughs> Christy says, oh, Izzy, I make that. When I'm cooking in the pan, I sprinkle brown sugar all over it and make candy. It's yummy. Hector says, hey, how you doing, Heck? Hector says, okay, back again. <laughs> Hector <laughs> says, what's up, everyone? Jennifer says, I want a stromboli. Mm. Hey, Journeys Out Loud. How you doing, my friend? They said, hey, Katie. Hey, chat. Welcome into you and the baby. Butch says, doing good, Miss Katie. Good to hear, Butch. This is Jiminy Cricket, with a few safety reminders before you board. Remember to stay seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside. Oh, and if you're proud All right, Mike says a little backstory on why Bambi is my favorite well, flick. It was like the first movie I cried in as a kid. My mom took my sister and I. It was a tearjerker for sure. Definitely, yes. Clark says, are we going to watch any fireworks tonight? That's totally up to you guys. We definitely can. Um, it looks like the wind, well, there's still a breeze, but it's not as bad as it was earlier. So hopefully it'll just continue to die down. If you guys would like to, we definitely can try. Ew, Anthony, why are you talking about tuna? Duck. He said bumblebee tuna? What? Mike says, thanks for joining us this evening, partners. If you're liking the content, make sure to hit the like button, and if you want to join us whenever Katie's live, subscribe and turn your notifications on. Yeah, he says, I wouldn't mind some fireworks. Yeah, if you guys missed it, Wondrous Journeys is back. Um, we covered it on Friday. That was the day that it returned. So, if you enjoy that show, definitely let us know that you'd like to see the fireworks, and we can try and do so. Jordan said, let's I just finished my dinner of burgers and pickles. Oh, we got pickle cravings in the house. Baby boy likes pickles. Everyone's saying hi to Anthony. <laughs> no lovely coconuts early. <laughs> Claire Wild said, I can handle some sweets. Y'all are too much. Notorious, I'm not even gonna read that. Ugh. Make me start gagging. Hector said, Wonder's Journeys. Oh. 
Lucky Band says, Stromboli sounds good. Never had. Trains out loud said, Yep. Baby's a pickle fan. EXP says, Tuna's good. Much better raw. I don't eat seafood or freshwater fish. Or shellfish. Kelly said, Yes, please. Main Street Cowgirl. Alrighty. <laughs> Izzy says, mmm, pickles, hard pass. Jason Allen says, Main Street Cowgirl, let's be honest. Even if it's not someone's favorite, it's still three times better than the tragic Oh My Lanta. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel. Hector says, Senor Mischief. Listen, give me credit. Only if you're Ada says, Tuna dish with mayo and cheese, then toasted in the oven. Hard pass. <laughs> Notorious one said, the only fish I enjoy eating is fish sticks. Izzy said, I had tuna and crackers for lunch last week. Y'all are trying to kill me, aren't you? <laughs> Brian said, here we go with the pickles. Carmen said, ew, pickles. Claire says, gotta go, bye. See you later, hopefully. No worries, Claire. Have a lovely evening. Again, guys, I get like extra gold stars tonight. Everything there is delicious. Yes. Worth it? Yes. Yeah. And the portions are pretty good. Like that's like good size, you know. You're welcome. Cleta says, I had non-dairy mac and cheese, Daisy brand, for lunch. Mm, mac and cheese. Who doesn't love comfort food? Teresa mm -hmm. said, and drinking all of this. What? Ooh. Yeah, I, I can't do that one. I'm sorry. I didn't even know that was a thing. Jason Allen says, meet you, cowgirl. How I really feel? Um, okay. Other than the tragic pickles are gross as well, and you have a good stream and wonderful community. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're too funny, Jason. Carmen said, yay, Pinocchio rides. <laughs> you gotta said, it's Daisy Brand. Very cool. Main Street Matt says, my one request for tonight is Pirates of the Caribbean, my favorite ride. I promise you we will not miss that. The only way we would miss it is if it's down. Pirates is always a mess. Izzy says, I also ate that tuna with relish on it, which is just chopped up pickles. Bleh. Bleh, blah, blah. You guys are doing like two of my least favorite things, seafood and pickles. Bleh. Jason Brower says, we just bought some amazing sweet horseradish pickles yesterday. They are so good on sandwiches. I've never had horseradish anything. I think the name just scares me off. Lettuce said, fried pickles. Mmm, good. All for you. <laughs> Notorious says, I should eat some mac and cheese for my birthday dinner next week. I'm just one. Should I get in the... Oh, okay. It's okay. Oh, it's fine. Have a good ride. Thank you. All right, enjoy the ride, guys. I'll get caught up with the chat afterwards.
up Leslie hold on guys got a little flare going on there there that's better all right cheese with bacon because like we said bacon makes everything better Said, but I want boiled peanuts. What does that taste like? Are they soft? That is said the Korean sushi is good. Relish 
lightsaber said, I would love to stay, but I have to get up early tomorrow. Good night, everyone. See you next time, my magical wizard friends. Good night, Saber. Have a lovely evening. And remember, you are worth it, my friend. Carmen said, yay, I can see clearly, Miss Katie. Victoria says, I'll start working on my campaign search. <laughs> Carmen said, yay, Peter Pan right, Miss Katie. Gladys said, spicy guacamole in my pasta. Tea tea, yum yum. Gracias. For your safety, remember to stay sweet. Leslie, Mr. Mischief will be here at any moment to the rescue, white wife. See you in Neverland. Matori said, no, mac and cheese with hot dogs. Oh, that's right, I remember I was talking about that. You should make uh, the octopus hot dog with the mac and cheese. They're so cute. Carmen said, 159 likes. Thank you so much, everyone. Mary said, that's sushi from the bowling place. Izzy said, no ketchup on mac and cheese. Ada says, I've never had sushi. Anthony said, sushi is bomb.com. No, it's not, sir. No, it's not. Mike says, I prefer the less adventurous foods like tacos. Sign me up. <laughs> Tori said, vote for Tori's one because in the wise words of Nelly, two is not a winner and three nobody remembers. <laughs> Leslie says, Mexican sushi from Sinaloa. Ooh, what does that taste like? Izzy says, I gotta eat sushi like every two weeks. Note to self, visit Izzy every other week. <laughs> Izzy said, or Leslie says, ketchup on mac and cheese. Lokio says, good. Welcome in. All right, guys, enjoy the ride. I'll get caught up with the chat afterwards. Oh, wait, hi, Mike Skellington. Welcome in.
funny, I brought my jacket. It's a lighter weight jacket, but I brought it because it was so cold when I got here, but now it's not even like cold enough to wear it. Should we do Snow White since we're here? And knock out all of Fantasyland? Maybe we can do Dumbo later with Anthony for Ada. Lokio says okay. There's that evil queen. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Ada says, who here has tried a Starburst lollipop? Everyone's all talking about sushi and Ada's like, candy. <laughs> Leslie said, oh, that's not for me. Mike Skellington said, hey, Anthony, where are you? Mr. Mischief says, pepper on mac and cheese. And no. Mary says, Mexican sushi? Carmen said, I don't like sushi either, Miss Katie. Lokio says, wow. <laughs> Jennifer, I'm with you. <laughs> Mike says, the only meat I eat that has lived on land and is bigger than a chicken with the exception of goats and sheep. And again, Ralphie, thank you so much for subscribing. And just here we go. Yep. You want to say hi? Are your parents okay with it? Is it okay for him to say hi? Hello. <laughs> Are you having fun today? Yeah, what's your favorite ride? Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Have a great night. Thank you. Mike Skellington says, wow, I get sushi almost every weekend. Journey's outlet said, I'm dreaming of the day that I can eat Pink's hot dogs again. Ooh, Pink's are good. Notorious says, I love ketchup on my mac and cheese. Lokios is cool. Izzy says, I just get the fresh rolls made at Sprouts. Lettuce says, ooh, Leslie, that place. I always drive by there. Ignore it. I didn't even know. Ha <laughs> Ada says, who's eating Bambi? Not I. Anthony said, I have Bambi in Montana. <laughs> Y'all are so wrong. <laughs> uh, Mike says, no thumper either. <laughs> Leslie said, I have Bambi from Mexico. Meat was too tough for my liking. Ada says, Thumper's too cute to eat. Mike Skellington said, What's the fancy word for Bambi? Venison? I believe so. Hey, medium decisions. Welcome in. Robert Robin, thank you so much for subscribing. Terry says, I stand on the platform that Bambi's aren't for eating. However, Bambi's very distant cousin, Mr. Buffalo, is fair game. <laughs> Very gamey. <laughs> Ada says, Dumbo. Carmen said, yes. Clark Cole said, okay. I'll give you some stickers. Give me one sec. One sec, guys.
much, guys. Jacob said, I want to hear Anthony scream. <laughs> Thank you to all the new subscribers for joining us. Yes, appreciate you all so much. All right, let me put you down a little bit. So you're not looking at the sky. There you go. It is what the heck is this hot dog? It is a delicious hot dog joint here uh, in like the LA area. LA or Hollywood, I can't remember. It's really good though. Anthony said, woohoo! Kate said, Woohoo, congrats! But she says, Back, went to watch USO's coverage. Good stuff, right, my friend? So funny. Leslie says, One step closer to 4K. Woohoo! Thank you, guys. Judy said, Love at Peace Hot Dogs is a hot dog joint in LA off of Melrose. Yeah, it's always packed, and the, the building is all pink. It's really cute. Notorious said I had a bison burger once and I remembered it tasted pretty good. Main Street Matt says, you know what's good in mac and cheese? A little bit of sweet barbecue sauce. Mm. They have a, a brisket mac and cheese here, barbecue brisket mac and cheese for food and wine that's really, really good. It is mac and cheese with spam. Yum. I still need to try spam. Anthony said, bison is good too, Victorious. Jacob said, Kitty, look up. I did. Uh, Izzy said, I had a reindeer hot dog in Alaska. What? Santa is watching, is he? Just saying. That shouldn't even be a thing. Jacob said, the witch came in. Victorious one said, I'm a fan of Casper's signature crispy hot dogs. I've never heard of that. says, is this live Disneyland? It is. We are live at Disneyland in Southern California right now. And welcome in. Jacob's with Katie. Yes. A pen and pencil or paper out for Anthony's question. Well, you can just ask him when he gets here. April says, ooh, I want to be a mod. It is a strict one for Izzy. Right. <laughs> okay. She's on Santa's naughty list right now. <laughs> Not even just a strike for us. <laughs> Do you want to say hi? <laughs> Are you streaming live? I'm sorry? Uh, you too. <laughs> oh my gosh, I got you some stickers. in so it would be charged when you got here so it wouldn't be at one percent like last time huh. <laughs> and my favorite movies are The Notebook, The Vow, Limitless, Lucy. And there's a few others. There's a lot. Uh, Jacob said, Mr. Mischief, you're in trouble. What's new? <laughs> what's what's his question, Jacob? Is that what the question was? The movies? Oh, okay. Yeah. 
I was gonna see how long it took before you noticed I was behind you, but. Uh, probably like an hour. You probably would have noticed when I got on the ride with you. <laughs> if I didn't, there's something wrong. Like, who is this person getting on with me? I'd be like, okay, creeper. Because <laughs> I've been right by you, or behind you, since in front of Peter Pan. Shut the front door. <laughs> Alright, after this we need to head over to go get the cookies. Oh, okay. I changed the pickup time for them, so. <laughs> Glad I said, Mr. Mister is a creep creep. <laughs> Albertus Magnus 44 said I had their ones. Oh my gosh. Welcome in, Albertus Magnus 44. <laughs> Mike Skellington said, oh dear, are we still talking about deer? <laughs> Out loud said, but my guilty pleasure is spam, masubi, and chicken karate. Let us said no, this is a replay. Oh, well. <laughs> Atari's went to Casper's is legendary in the Bay Area. To get their signature crisps, they boil the, the dogs. Interesting. Huh. Ellen says, I've eaten shark before. Very nice. Ooh. Fan of day. Fan Day of Dragons says, ooh, I like Disney. I've been there a few times. <laughs> it is a pet friends in the park. <laughs> Mike Skellington said, yikes, shark. I used to eat shark until I learned why it has that flavor. Flavor. Kevin said, yay, Mr. Mischief. Hi, sir. Journey says, I've also eaten gator. And he said, creeper. I was, guys. I was going to wait to see how long she noticed before she noticed. And what's even worse is how she's standing now. She was just facing forward, and I'm standing to the side of her like this. I'm focused, okay? It's laser focus. Yeah. Fan of Gay Dragon said, you guys can call me Dragon for short. All right. Rodolfo says, howdy, howdy, Mr. Mischief. Hello, hello. Jacob said, what's your favorite movie and candy? Well, he named his movies, Jacob. So what's your favorite candy, Reese's? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Leslie said, Mr. You had to wait for the question to be asked. <laughs> Mainstream Matt said, Katie said she wants sushi for dinner. No, sir. No, 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 no. Ada said, you should have seen how long it took her to notice you. <laughs> I wanted to, Ada, but she was struggling with the sticker, so I finally had to say something. <laughs> but I guarantee she probably wouldn't have noticed until I sat on the ride with her. Probably not. Or, or maybe when we like, turn the trees. I thought you would have when, when we were turning back and forth right there. Well. And you didn't. I'm like, oh, wow. All right. I'm incognito right now. That's why... Gladys said, so you mean Mr. Mister it can be a stalker for a creepy. Mainstream counter? There you go. Um, Albert Magnus said, thanks, you're welcome. Mike Skellington said, wait, didn't you two eat sushi somewhere in Riverside on stream? No, that that was not me. He ate sushi, I ate steak. Mike Skellington. He said, or was it ramen? I remember there being fancy chopsticks. <laughs> Jacob said, I don't know when I'm coming there with my two friends. Peanut butter cups. The pieces are pretty good too, but. 
<laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, like two or three days a week. Yeah. We're usually here Tuesdays and Thursdays and then sometimes on the weekend. Right on. All right. Albert Magnus says, I love sushi. I took a couple of sushi making classes. They gotta catch me first. Judy's out loud said, now I have a hankering for pineapple. Ooh, I can get behind that one. Notoria said, I get that way a lot. I tend to be very laser focused kind of guy. Not so skilled at multitasking. <laughs> Dragon said, I feel alone ever since my cat passed away two weeks ago. Oh, I'm so sorry, my friend. Can we have some hearts in the chat for dragons? Hey, Tony Lopez. How are you doing, my friend? He said, good evening, Katie and Anthony. Hello, everyone in the chat. No, Jacob, we will not be live tomorrow, my friend. We'll be back on Thursday live. Hey, someone somewhere. He said, hello, Main Street Cowgirl and Anthony. Hope you guys are having a good night. They are, my friend. Hope you are as well. Hello, hello. Welcome in, Paul Helms. He said, good evening. Jesse says, hello, Mr. Mischief. I can hear you, but I can't see you. I got my camouflage on today. I'm right in front of the camera. Don't you see me waving right now? <laughs> They're good, but if I had to pick between one or the other, I would do the peanut butter cup. Mike Skellington said, Anthony just got fuller. That's my favorite snack, too. <laughs> See, everybody knows what's up. Gladys said, I know, I know. When Katie comes up in NorCal, Leslie can take Katie to Sinaloa. Thank you guys for dropping those hearts in the chat. Main Street Nuts said, if I ever get to meet you guys at the park, dinner is on me at the Blue Bayou. Oh, my friend, you don't need to do that. That's so sweet of you. Dragon said, thank you, everyone. Hey, Jay Renaissance, welcome in. They said, yo, yo, yo. Jesse said, hello, Ellie. Jacob said, can he turn the camera around and say hi to Jesse? How did I know that was coming? <laughs> he didn't say hi. <laughs> oh, well, I don't know. Hi, Jesse. Gladys said, haha, Mr. Mister is the tall glass of water, and Katie missed that. Carmen said, no, I can't see you, Mr. Mischief. <laughs> Carmen, I'm right in front of the camera. <laughs> uh, Mary said, Ann, have you tried the banana-covered Reese's? The banana-covered, what? That's what she said. Reese's? That's what she said. Banana-covered and Reese's. No. I'm not a huge fan of banana though. I had so many bananas growing up. Like it was banana everything. Leone Ariola said, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, Psalm 150, verse 6. Jesse said, hello Anthony, good to see you my friends. Mike says, what would you do for a Klondike bar? Nothing but what I would do for a Reese's. Klondikes are good. No, Klondikes are good. Jesse said, oh, no, Anthony's gone. Where'd he go? <laughs> <laughs> Jacob 
Jacob said, have Anthony stand where you are, Katie, for a second. Hi, Jacob. <laughs> Gladys said, haha, so many bananas. Izzy uh, said, Choco Taco. Oh, shut the front door. I love Choco Tacos. Choco Tacos are good. I need to hit up Steve. He still owes me a Choco Taco. Did they go out of business? I don't know. Um, Albert is going to say, hey, your candy snack, dark chocolate with a Sonora Cabernet. Yeah. Nature Matt said it's frozen banana bites covered in pieces from Costco. Hmm. I'll have to look into that. Jennifer says, don't forget to smash that like button. Natori says, what can I do for a phone like bar? He says, not much. I'd rather have strawberry mochi or a regular ice cream sandwich. Ooh, mochi. Jesse says, Man, Anthony, you're just too funny, my friend. Thank you for the likes. You're welcome. Uh, Dragon says, Mr. Mischief, hello. You need to try rice crisps with caramel. So good. That actually does sound pretty good. <laughs> Mike says, I'm having myself a nice Klondike bar. I feel they're better than the Mickey's head bars. <laughs> I like the Klondike's covered in um, heat bar. Those are so good. Kata said, ooh, strawberry mochi, yum. On the path to see Snow White, huh? Well, then, to be sure you arrive safely, stay in your seat, keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs. Jesse says, have you guys tried spaghetti tacos? No. I've never even heard of them. They're from a Disney Channel show. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing to Marie's Place. Welcome to the channel. Meg Skeleton says, I've only had Klondike bars when they've been given out at parties. I don't think I've ever bought one. Izzy said, Oreo Klondikes are chef's kiss. Keep your you, don't like, you don't like Oreo Klondikes? I don't think I've ever had one. Wow. Wow. Gladys says, are we going to hear Mr. Mr. Yon again tonight? Bet. <laughs> Jacob says, Katie, will any special guests be joining you for the anniversary stream? I have no idea, Jacob. It's a few weeks away. Helen says, what time do the parks close tonight? I believe midnight. Let me double check for you. Yes, midnight. Yep, closes at midnight tonight, Helen. Mike says, heat bars are okay at best. Klondike's vanilla ice cream is so creamy. Nokia says, love. Jacob said, Anthony, you should come to Hershey Park and stream with Katie. Oh, isn't that 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 piece? Oh, wow. Notorious said spaghetti tacos are from the show iCarly. How did I know? That sounds like an iCarly. Right? Huh? Well, 
Ventura says, or sorry, Lucky Fan says, what would you do if you were a Klondike bar? Albertus Magnus says, are Klondike bars in season? I think they're always in season. I mean, it's kind of cold to be anyone. Mike says, the Oreo Klondikes are good, but nothing like the OG. Jennifer says, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you won't miss out on any fun. Yeehaw! Okay, serious question, chat. Who else eats ice cream when it's cold? Ada says, I agree, Primo. Jacob says, Anthony, you sound like Patrick. Mike says, it's the family taste buds, Prima. Uh -huh. Alright guys, we'll get caught up with the chat after the ride. Enjoy.
Everybody must be staying at the resorts or something because Toy Story parking is empty. I know. Like, empty, empty. Well, when I got here, there was no one even scanning into park. There was no one behind me, no one in front of me. I was like, I asked the cast member, I was like, what's going on? What does everyone know that I don't? And he's like, we were wondering the same thing. <laughs> He's like, it was been quiet all day. And I guess even Sunday was like super quiet. All right. Hey, Heather SJs, welcome in. She says, hi, how are you doing? Doing well, Heather, how are you doing? Mike Skellington said, never had an Oreo Klondike. I'll take your word until I try one, Izzy. Uh, Jacob said, Katie, can you have Anthony pray for me? Pray? <laughs> Prayers to you, Jacob. Notorious said, I'd be down to try the spaghetti taco. Sounds really tasty. Why do I feel like this is a taco shell with spaghetti in it? I think it is. <laughs> Brian said, I'm back. Ange says, guilty. Hey, Edson. He says, hi, guys. What's up? Greetings from Rio, Brazil. Happy to have you here, Edson. I hope you're having a wonderful evening. Wait, Ange said she's guilty? Guilty of what? I don't know. Guilty as charged. Boom, boom, boom. Rodolfo says, I eat ice cream when it's cold. It's better that way. Oh, you asked who eats ice cream when it's cold. That's what they're talking about. Oh, see? It's not just me. I can't do it. Once in a blue moon, but not like regularly. Yeah, but you and cold don't get along. I don't mind cold as long as I have warm jackets. <laughs> I know, but it's like 60 degrees outside and you're like, I'm freezing. Because I didn't grow up in Canada. I grew up in Southern California. It's not supposed to be cold here. Uh, so did I. No, you grew up in the high desert. It's different. It's always cold up there. <laughs> okay. In the winter, I mean. In the winter. <laughs> Alejandro said, anytime is ice cream time. Jacob said, Anthony, who's your favorite dwarf? Grumpy. <laughs> How does that not surprise me? <laughs> Izzy said, who doesn't eat ice cream when it's cold? Katie. <laughs> every time I go, I'm, every time I tell her, ice cream sounds good right now. And she's like, it's too cold for ice cream. <laughs> Why are you getting ice cream when it's cold? Because that's the best time to eat it. Carmen said, sometimes I eat ice cream when it's cold, Mr. Mischief. Mike says, sometimes let ice cream melt a bit and drink it like a milkshake. And then shake it like a salt shaker. Izzy says, Ant-Man likes ice cream soup. Ice cream soup? Ada said, ice cream all year round for me. How does that not surprise me, Ada? I would expect nothing less than Ada. <laughs> Good night, Jacob. Oh yeah, being in there. You don't remember that? 
I remember the slap it in the syndrome, but not oh yeah at the end. Yeah, it was like oh yeah. I Dang, they got a grip of peanut butter or peanut butter peanut butter. butter. <laughs> they got a grip of butter on that popcorn right Someone's now. Got peanut butter on the brain. <laughs> Anita Cahoon, welcome in. She says your pink bow is adorable. Thank you so much. Um, you can actually order some from uh, 1953 Designs. And if you use the discount code COWGIRL, you'll get a discount off of your order. Everyone's saying, hey, hey, Matters, welcome in. They say, hey. And she says, eating ice cream when it's cold. <laughs> Leslie says, is the cowgirl who eats ice cream soup. And she says, me and hot dogs don't get along. Hot dogs? Hot dog, hot dog, hot dog. I thought she said hot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I seen that comment go across the screen. I'm, I could have sworn that said me and hot don't get along. <laughs> I just did word association, I think. I don't know. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I was like, did I read it wrong? I just thought maybe she was behind in the stream and like... <laughs> uh, oh. No, hot dogs were so 30 minutes ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just ignore me. I'm new here. Oh, isn't that something? I got peanut butter on the brain, you got hot dogs. <laughs> Sorry, says, I'm innocent, trust me, as the snake man John Roberts used to say. And the blog said, y'all get rain last night at the high desert. Um, I, I got some like earlier in the day. I don't remember any at night though. I, yeah, I don't remember any. I, I, this new job has my day so messed up. I'm sitting there thinking it did rain in the morning yesterday. That was Saturday. Jacob said good night to you. Good night, Jacob. Have a great night, Jacob. That was Saturday that it rained in the morning. Uh, Chris said, here in Missouri, in the dead of winter, this town I live in goes nuts for ice cream. And it's like, let me reconsider moving to Missouri. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, so. Caleb, oh my gosh, did you see my message? How are you? I feel so, so bad. It didn't even, like, my brain didn't even recognize the fact that that was you the other night. And I feel so, so bad. I hope next time you're in the park, you come say hi. I would love to catch up with you. Hey, Snoopy, 32. <laughs> Missouri's way too cold for me. <laughs> Nice and dirty. <laughs> Our buggy says, hopefully no rain for the next week. Fingers crossed. Yes. Fingers, toes, everything. Right. All right, guys. We're just waiting for our order of cookies to be ready. Let's see. Our buggy says, hopefully no rain for the next week. Fingers crossed. Uh, Beachy, AG sister, says hi. Jacob says, good night, Anthony. Snoopy 32 says, congrats on 3.4K, my friend. Thank you so much, Caleb. Albert Magnus says, ice cream is always in season. Guys, and if you're not familiar, Caleb Estes, that is a Snoopy. You guys meet, might be uh, familiar with him from in the chats. He streams now, so be sure to check out his channel. Uh, Beachy AG Sister says, what are you guys going on next? The plan is pirates. Jennifer Marie says, 195 likes. Yeehaw! Thank you so much, guys. Doesn't that look like a crazy shot right there? You have the... I call it the pirate boat. But then you've got the, the moon, moon yeah. peeking through the clouds. That's pretty cool. Notorious says, Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh, yeah! See? See? I, I don't remember the oh yeah part. Guys, tell me I'm not crazy. He says oh yeah at the end, right? I didn't say you were crazy. I was just saying I don't remember the oh yeah at the end. German says Macho Man Slim Jim commercial. I remember the Slim Jim. But I don't remember the oh yeah. 
as Merlis says, just made mac and cheese. And she says, RIP Macho Man, yes. FL Vlog says, LOL. Notori says, speaking of ice cream, I remembered I love Dippin' Dots. Ooh, Dippin' Dots, yum. They used to have Dippin' Dots here in the park. Wow, I just had a major flashback to that. They had like little like vending machines you could get them from. Oh. Whoa, but I completely forgot about that. Don't they still have them? Where? Well, maybe I'm thinking of somewhere else. I could have sworn they still had Dippin' Dots. Mm. FL Vlog says, Sugar Rush. <laughs> Clay Cole said, this time of year, people don't have enough money to be coming to Disneyland and that's why the parking lots aren't full. Well, the park is full, so I, we think it honestly is just hotel guests that are here because it is spring break. Um, the other reason the parking lot's pretty empty is all the our level of Magic Key are blacked out right now. So uh, that is a big reason as well. Yeah, but still there's a lot of people here. Where are they all at? <laughs> Where are they all park? And she says, Katie's hungry, go get the cookies. We're trying. Jennifer says, Katie, I thought this said, she said hot dogs at first too. Then I reread it. Yeah, I didn't reread it. <laughs> <laughs> she, that was her story and she was sticking to it. <laughs> Ange and hot dogs don't get along. Natalia <laughs> said, John Roberts, it's Jake the Snake Roberts. Uh, oh gosh. No, Thank I thought you, he was Caleb. from State Farm. <laughs> he wasn't wearing khakis. <laughs> Adeline said, no ice cream in the month of August or September for us. More like shakes in those months. Hey, Mama Bear. She says, hola, Katie, a furry fox. Hola, How are you guys Mama doing, Bear. Mama Bear? Taking a long time to, oh, there we go. I knew if I said it, they'd bring it tables up here just so you know. Oh. What's that you say? Well there wasn't when we went by. Alright, let's try these cookies. So it's a baker's dozen, guys. So 13 cookies. They're so soft and warm. You gonna try one? Alright, ready? Ah! Cheers! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. It's not on you. They're good, but definitely not worth the hype that they got. But on like a cool day like today, they're perfect. They're crispy on the outside, warm and gooey and melty on the inside. They're really good. Oh, 
I'm not mad about it. <laughs> All right. Vlog says, yeah, yesterday it was raining cats and dogs in Palm Springs. Mama Bear said, hola familia y amigos. All right, you want to go ahead to Pirates? Well, let me check and see if our, um, it's fine. By the time we get over there, it'll probably be about time. Notorious said, an RIP his less famous brother, the genius Leapin Lanny Pofo. As Mel just said, mm, that's awesome. Or are you gonna be that back? For now, it's not fucking. Ace, I need to go. I haven't been in ages. He said, you ever go to Knott's? We have a bunch of goodies at Boysenberry right. Festival. I know, every time I see the Boysenberry Festival and everyone posting about it, I kind of like, hmm, I get tempted. It all looks so good. For sure, without a doubt or hesitation, that you're going to come more than 12 times within a year, I, I would say 15. If you know without a doubt that you're going to come 15 times within a year, then it's worth it. I had the Enchant Pass my first year, and I ended up coming because I didn't think I was going to come that much, so I didn't want to get the expensive one. I ended up paying the difference in parking that I would have paid for the big one anyway. Like, that's how much I came. 
Because that was the year they had Dream Key, so I had gotten the Enchant, which was like 600 something after tax. And the Dream Key was 12. And I ended up spending like $700 in parking. Christy says, I had to leave for a while. Sorry. No worries, Christy. It's got to be gone before we go on. And let's see. Echo Vlogs. Thank you so much. Angel with the $4.99 super sticker says, keep it up. Thank you, my friend. We dropped some hearts and horseshoes in the chat. Appreciate you, my friend. Welcome back, Jordan. Hey, Princess Rose. Sorry, guys. I know I'm behind. I'm trying to catch up. Uh, let's see. Third very, very good cookies, I think. Alejandro said those are perfect for an ice cream sandwich. Yes, they'd be so good. Uh, so my, my sister said those are good. Tiny bit rich. Yes. I hadn't thought of it that way, possibly. This is a need milk. Gladys says, need hot cocoa with the cookies. Not doing the cookie justice. <laughs> uh, our bookie said, did you guys try the waffle Cristo? I have not tried it yet. Uh, every time I come, I get here a little too late because they stop serving that really early in the morning. Um, and we live in the high desert, so getting here for like super early in the morning is kind of rough. But they're definitely on my list that I do want to try. Chris is a good way to market it though. Alejandro said, Aunt, I like your cookie. Thank you. Jesse said, mmm, cookies. Lucky Dan said, I could probably eat them all. Gladys said, covering my eyes so I don't get cookie jealous. Jordan said, hi. Uh, let's see. Sorry, guys. The chat keeps jumping. Uh, as well as the traditional cookies, then. Nice. Jesse said, yes, the Pirates of the Caribbean. Dropping the lemons and oranges in the chat for the skirt. I believe they're available now. Um, when I scanned into the park, there was a sign up saying that you could upgrade your day park ticket to an annual pass. So there must still be some um, annual passes still available. Mike Skellington says, ready to pillage. Hey, Azpachi 2006, welcome in. They said the whole graveyard exit to the train track from mansion to the train station railing. It's all cast member break room and elevator shaft for the handicapped. Yes. The cast members deserve the new break room area. And I think it'll be nice for the, the handicapped to not have to exit through the entrance, which was still a cool option, but kind of impedes with the flow of traffic for everyone getting on. Hey, Miss Garcia, welcome in. I just said, let's go pirates. Gladys says, Mr. Mister, annual pass comparison is like AAA membership. Differences you pick the most expensive if you're going to use it more often. Rule of thumb. <laughs> As Patrick said, August 23rd, Haunted Mansion reopens along with the Halloween season, opening with a special event. Thank you, Pilot Pete Productions. Welcome in, by the way. You said you have the most beautiful hair. Miss Garcia said hello, Katie. Chris says, I wish I could get the key now. Just not my time yet. Soon enough, my friend. Soon enough. My duo to him, he always does it to me. Puts me on camera and doesn't say anything. Do you not like them? Do you 
not like that. And she says, I just renew my past. Bye bye money. Hello, happiness. I'm caught up again, guys. It's like three gold stickers in one night. I'll trade you. <laughs> Mike says thousand yard stick. That is his okay. Huh? <laughs> Alright, guide in. You guys enjoy the ride and uh, remember volume warning. Oh, 
Shipmates lost at sea. Salute, Mason Lee. Drink up, me hearty Joe. Oh, wrestles a scale of pillars and lay. Drink up, me hearty Joe. The devils are actually really bad. The sea's been kind to me, but who can tell what dangers lie on stranger tides? Mark my words when next you say.
Prince Motion says, I got some pirate water and Indiana Jones scented wax melts. Right on. Prepare to go ashore by stepping out to your right. All right, Billy. Don't Hey Adriana, thanks for stopping by my friend. I hope you have a wonderful night as well. We're going to try and go on rise. So we can't do Main Street if we're going to make it in time for rise. Transfer Reese says, I like hot dog water. Ew. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> All for you, my friend. I don't even cook my hot dogs in submerged water anymore. I steam them. Tastes so much better that way. Congratulations, Prince Potion. I just saw your comment. He says, by the way, I got the job. I start Thursday. Thank you all for your well wishes. And sorry if I already mentioned this. I forgot you did not. Congratulations, my friend. So, so, so happy for you. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and find a spot for the fireworks, and um, we're probably going to switch gimbals. And May I have your attention, please? Due to winds at higher elevations, it ah. is possible that our nighttime fireworks spectacular will be presented without out? pyrotechnics this evening. So we'll switch uh, gimbals and set up mics. In the hope that better wind conditions may allow us to present the show in its entirety. Thank you. So excited for you, Prince Potion. a gran altura, es posible que nuestro gran espectáculo de fuegos artificiales se presente sin pirotecnia. La decisión final aún no se ha tomado. En la espera de que las condiciones del viento mejoren, someone else technically, Giant Gonzalez. Gracias. Jesse says, "Yay for Rise of the Resistance!" Woo for the bike said, seems like we have a wrestling theme this evening. <laughs> Helen says, got to bed, watch after watching WWE, so my hubby will be sleeping soon and snoring. <laughs> You're welcome, Prince Potion. So excited for you. I knew you'd get it, though. I had no doubts, my friend. Chase for said, well, congratulations. <laughs> Prince Potion said, Disney savings, here I come. Victoria says, I know most things about professional wrestling. It's kind of my focus subject. <laughs> Izzy said, bow time. Hey, it's not for sure, guys. They said there is a chance. I've heard them say that before, and then we get them. So let's, let's just uh, keep our fingers crossed. Carmen said, oh, man. Prince Bushin said, thank you all. Daniel Delgado, how are you? He says, hey, Miss Katie and Anthony, how is it going this evening? And also, hello to all in the chat. It's going well, Daniel. How are you doing, my friend? Chrissy said, fireworks canceled? For sure? No, not for sure. They won't decide until right before they do them. So what happens is they release a couple of balloons, one on Main Street, like halfway down Main Street, and one over by the castle. And depending on what those balloons do, will determine whether or not they release a second set of balloons right before the fireworks show. And once they release those second balloons, if those ones also show that there is still too much wind, then we'll just get projections. Chris said, yeah, 
got po time. <laughs> Prince Motion said, LOL, my boyfriend is 6'7, my name is Andre though, and I am definitely not trying. <laughs> Too cute. Notorious says, Giant Gonzalez was even taller than Andre. What? Jesse said, fingers crossed. Hey, Snoopy 32 said, there's a chance that Katie might get a churro or two or three if there's no fireworks. I got my cookies. We were stacking on the cookies the whole Pirates ride. <laughs> we're down to four out of 13. <laughs> Let's see. Mike said those Jolly Rogers and the Rivers are so dope. Bless you. Uh, Jordan said, is Disney doing fireworks every day? Right now they are because it's spring break. So when spring break's over, they'll go back to just Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Allie said, the Mark Twain looks so pretty. It does. And I know Anthony's gonna clean the screen. Natalie said, Cookie Monsters! I don't know what you're talking about. Technically, he was seven foot six. Andre, at his tallest, was maybe seven foot two. Uh, A said, "When are the hours back to 10 p.m. for weekdays?" Um, I'm not sure. Let me see if it says on the app. I just take it one day at a time. they go back to 10 p.m. Because I know a lot of the schools um, down this way have spring break um, two weeks after Easter. So that makes sense. Hang on one sec, guys. you on the be right back screen real quick um anthony's gonna switch you to the other gimbal so give me one minute really quickly guys Can we get an audio check, you guys? Mic check, guys. Welcome in Mexico of Jesus. They said hi. Happy to have you. Sound good. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you.
Let's see, where were we? Uh, Mike says, I have an Andre the Giant figure in a small cage. Ha <laughs> ha. May I have your attention? Due to winds at higher... Possible that our nighttime it fireworks spectacular will be presented without pyrotechnics this evening. A final decision has not been made in the hope that better wind conditions may allow us to present the show in its entirety. Thank you. Allie says, Mike's what don't you have, right? <laughs> Mike says, I don't know, Allie. <laughs> Mike says, name something, then I'll know. You're welcome, Caleb. He said, thank you for checking, Katie. Mike says, yes, it's a flock big bird. The fur is really soft. <laughs> Teddy Brock spin on my lanta. Prince Potion said, one, two, three. Sorry guys, we're just calibrating the gimbal. Mike says, I have a small replica of Teddy Ruxpin, no tape. The messages are pre-recorded. <laughs> I got rid of my Teddy Ruxpin like, oh man, like seven years ago or something like that. And I like regret getting rid of it now. As he says, I missed a Mike's check, aw. Hey, Mark Sanford. He said, hi ho, hi ho. Uh, let's see, Notorious One said, heaviest wrestler of all time was Happy Humphrey, who weighed slightly over 900 pounds. Holy smokes. Slightly over 900 pounds? Jennifer says, 224 likes. Yeehaw, thank you so much, everyone. Izzy says, I was wondering what sounds like Darth Vader, but it was the train. <laughs> The train? No, it was the it, river boat. It, it, well, it might have been the boat or it might have been the gimbal calibrating because it like shakes the camera while it calibrates. So it could have been that. Uh, we don't know for sure yet, Carmen. They said there's a chance. Notorious says, Teddy Ruxman, my mom was telling me she knows the guy who invented it. All right, guys, Anthony's gonna, oh, you're cleaning that one, okay. All right, we got five minutes, and then we'll know if we're getting fireworks or not. Oh, I should have showed Mama Bear. I don't know if you're still watching Mama Bear or not, but if you are, I'm wearing this today, the one America made. She fell asleep. Brother Mike said, that's dope. He's still around. Can he sign my toy? I don't think there's going to be fireworks. I... The moon looks eerie behind the clouds right now. Right? I feel that wind. We'll have to do Winnie the Pooh after we do Rise. Trey said, no, he died not too long ago. His wife is a singer in my mom's choir. What are the odds of that? Hey, Groots, how are you? He said, hi, guys. Hello. He said, hi, everyone. We are Groots. When are you guys going to be back in the park, Groots? Carmen said, oh, OK. Thank you, Miss Katie. You're welcome. She said, whoa, that's a heavy dude. Brother Mike said, Pinocchio's asleep. He looks like he's been up for three days straight. Izzy said, no pyro, no fun. In just a few minutes, the lights will be dimmed so you may fully experience our nighttime spectacular. For your own safety and the safety of those around you, please remain in the same area until the lights return to normal. Thank you. Buenas noches, amigos. En tan solo unos minutos, las you know atenuarán para que puedan disfrutar I don't know if they're going to do projections. They don't have the towers up. Por su seguridad y la seguridad de quienes los rodean. I just realized that. Permanezcan en su lugar hasta que las luces sean restauradas. Gracias. Oh, they don't have them up. Uh-oh. 
Yeah, because isn't one of them right where they're standing? Yeah. It didn't even cross my mind. Unless they're only doing the ones that... Well, the scaffolding's up over there at the island, too. They may not even... Well, we might not have fireworks or projections tonight, guys. I just realized that. Tartar sauce. But we're not the only ones waiting, so I don't know. We'll see. Izzy said, no pyro, no fun. Groot said, we're doing well. We'll be there next week for six. And she says, in time for the show with or without works. Or with or without the show. <laughs> with or <laughs> Might be the, the show without the music or projections. It'll be Anthony's fireworks and nothing else. <laughs> Notori says, Happy Humphrey was also in the Guinness Book of Records for the most weight lost. And she said, ha ha, look, there's fireworks. Alejandro said, Mr. Mischief's nighttime spectacular. Groot said, boo. Helen says, small world has projections. We won't make it in time, Helen. We're clear at the other end of the park. Jesse said, oh man, no fireworks, no projections. Oh, poo. We'll see, we're gonna cross our fingers, guys. I don't know. I just noticed the random pirate flag in the middle of the water. What is that about? You never noticed that? No, that wasn't there before. Well, no, but it's been there. I want to say it was there last Tuesday, too. I'm not very observant. <laughs> Carmen says, yay, fireworks on the screen. <laughs> Ace Soupy said, there's the fireworks. Helen says, oh, sorry, didn't know you were that far away. Yeah, we are clear at the other end of the park, so we're in fantasy land, or sorry, fantasy land. We're in, uh, nor oh, fireworks! Aw, uh, we're not gonna get music or projections. Well, we got fireworks, guys. At least we don't have copyrights. <laughs> oh man, what a bummer. Sorry guys. Mike says, proof of Andre and Pinocchio is in Discord. Join Discord if you don't want to miss the fun where there's no stream. Carmen said, sadly, we can't move to Small World. Here, should I put, should I put the other stream on for the music? <laughs> Was Ryan that a Normington, fluke? thank you for subscribing. No, there's a big gap, I think, between the fireworks. I don't remember there being that big of a gap. Chris said, rise time, right? There they are. There you go, guys. It's kind of like watching fireworks and uh, that too. Right? Thank you for being here, Ryan. Appreciate you. you bringing us in with the music. <laughs> You're supposed to sing it. When you wish upon a star. <laughs> I just wonder if I could time it right if I brought up the, the stream from the other night. Uh, Prince Potion, there's no music over here. We didn't know that until pretty yeah. much right now. I think it's because of all the construction that's going on over here. Here. Oh, I went too far. Too far again. Yeah, 
you're way ahead. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> That's way too far ahead. Ah, uh, we buffered that. Buffered there too.
music, guys, but A for effort. <laughs> Not by much, though. Yeah, not by much. I think, like, maybe 30 seconds. Ingenuity is the mother of invention. You can barely hear it. Hey, it's better than nothing. I like those ones. Yeah. The ones that you can hear them, they're like. Yeah. But I like when they're doing the shooting while they're sweeping. It's like. Yeah. We tried, guys. We tried. We tried. <laughs> oh. Good night, Arlene. Have a beautiful night. I think we're going to go. Let me see if it's time for Riser, if we're going to do Winnie the Pooh first. I think, uh, I think for that particular fireworks show, though, the only, the, like, that one has to be watched in front of the castle. No, I mean, it's really good over by Small World, too. Because the projections are phenomenal there. Projection-wise, yes. But for all of it to go together... Mm. I think we're just going to go straight to Rise, because I don't want to get there too late and they've closed the ride for the night. <laughs> Ada says, A for effort. <laughs> Achu says, you definitely made magic. <laughs> that explains why the Mark Twain's still running this late, though. Yeah. But at least we know for future reference now that... <laughs> You know what, though? It might be kind of fun to ride the Mark Twain during the fireworks. If you could time it right. That'd yeah. be kind of cool. You might have a better chance of timing that right than you do <laughs> Big Thunder Mountain. Oh, I thought you were going to say then the music. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Esmeralda says, see, this is why a local 4th of July show is just meh. Because Disney outdoes them ten times over on normal days, right? In all fairness, though, that's because Disney has the money for it. Right. <laughs> them fireworks get expensive quick. Well, I talked about it before. I read somewhere um, Disney World. I don't know about here, but Disney World sell, makes enough money selling popcorn in a day to pay for their fireworks every day. I believe it. Although, although, Anaheim needs to step it up. We need to get our own drone show. Oh, well, I don't think we could though, because they need like a large enough space to be able oh, to. Oh, I know, I know that. Fly them and land, launch them from, and all that. That's why I know we wouldn't get it because there's nowhere that they could take them all off from. Yeah, if we didn't have Batu, then they could have done it there. But I think everyone would rather have that than the drone show. The only way they might be able to get around that is if they build a giant covering to cover over somewhere like in the back, the backstage area. I don't think there's that much room in the backstage anymore though after all the building they did. That would be the only way they'd be able to do it, though. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, let's see. Esmeralda said, oh, I already read that one. Parahood said, it's wondrous. The Groot said, that first time I seen that happen. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like because they're doing the construction over there on the island um, to get ready for Phantasmic. So apparently they're not doing the fireworks from there. I knew they weren't for mix, mix Magic, but I figured with Wondrous being so popular that they would have. But now we know. Oh, we're getting ready to go into spider season. Ah, uh, sir. You and the spiders. But it wouldn't have mattered anyway because we wouldn't have had time to watch it from Main Street and get over here to redeem... Um, our time for Rise before Rise shuts down for the night. So if we were going to squeeze both in, we couldn't have been at Main Street or Small World. Habooga, booga, 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 booga. And that says, good job, Katie. <laughs> Just trying to make some lemonade out of lemons, guys. Carmen said, next time we should see it from Small World or Main Street, Miss Katie. That's still very cool from Rivers of America. Yeah, I just figured since uh, we had Rise, we'd try and squeeze it in. Esmeralda said, that's true, Disney's loaded. Esmeralda said, Disney Springs in Orlando is about to get a drone show. Ooh, I didn't know that. Did you hear that? Disney Springs in Orlando is about to get a drone show. Makes sense. Jason Allen says, Main Street Cowgirl, I'm still tilted about losing the Big Thunder ranch area. I know, me too. I used to love the animals and the barbecue. Oh, I think we have like one minute before we can redeem. Or not, maybe it's letting me know. Yeah, it's letting me redeem it. Excuse me. Sorry. Stand by right here. <sighs> Thank you. Carol had said, cover over the parking structure like a helicopter pad. Well, the issue is I don't think they can fly over an area where cars would be driving or people would be walking in case one fell. It'd be too much of a liability. So they would have to launch and fly over the same area. So that area would have to kind of be centered over Main Street, um, at least like looking at it towards the castle. It would have to be centered probably. So that would be like Batu and Toontown area. Yes, bro, this is spider season. I'll pass. Thanks. Right? Same. Disneyland gets some crazy spiders. Notorious says true. Thank you. True arachna arachomanthalas are nightmares fuel. Carrowhead said, surprise, no projections at Rivers of America. Yeah, I think it's just because they're getting ready for um, Phantasmic. So there's all kinds of scaffolding that's low around the perimeter of the water on the island. So I think that's why I think they're just setting everything up and um, making sure it's all in good like working order for Phantasmic. Uh, Jason Allen said, the barbecue was the best. Welcome in, foolish mortal. Christy says, yes, Jason. It was the best, and I miss it terribly. Vokio says, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Ace Snoopy said, are we going to close the parks tonight? Possibly. That's a ton. Uh... <laughs> Hey, Mateo Energy. BB-8. Prep the ready room for recruits. Sip. 
Hi, we both have the same jacket. It's pretty cool. Indeed. Alright guys, enjoy. Christy said, rise is a good excuse. I agree. Notoria says, Arachno mantula is the species of pet that Hagrid had. Oh! Is he said, oh! Identify yourselves and prepare to be boarded. 
This is TR 141. We are a civilian vessel. By whose authority are we being detained? By the authority of the First Order, Resistance Scum. Now bring down your shields and prepare to be boarded. Now, Twig, get out there. They'll want the location of our secret base. Tell them nothing. The future of the Resistance is at stake. I have a bad feeling about this. Stand back from those doors! I know. Let's return them to Batu at the end. Brain said I made it in time for my favorite ride. Carmen said, hey, BB-8. Lucky Pan said, Ray is awesome. Mateo Energy said, Rise is the best, but always broken down or long wait time when I go. Jesse says, Hooray for Rise of the Resistance, my favorite ride. Maintenance teams, check with Deck 3 Senior Officer for interim assignments. Chris said, You're fun too, Pooh. Natoria said, Argon was its name. Chrissy said, I didn't realize until later that Poe is the father in Dune. No wonder I love both characters. <laughs> Carmen said, hi, Moon Knight. Stockton says, how do we become a mod? Um, I will have an application um, on a community post sometime this week. So just keep an eye on the community tab on my channel here on YouTube. And there will be um, some information and an application. Stockton said, hello, Katie. Hey, Stockton. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Carmen said, I see that, Miss Katie. <laughs> Mateo says, bye, guys. Had to just sign in and see, but I have to go to sleep now. Good night, Mateo Energy. Have a beautiful night. Lucky Fan said, this ride is a lot. <laughs> Alejandro said, 242 likes. Thank you for being here to support our favorite cowgirl. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you're enjoying the stream. Yeehaw. Thank you so much, guys. Brian said, oh, man, I definitely got to rewatch it. Helen says, hubby is asleep and snoring and trying to take all of the bed and leave me with no space. Oh, da 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 <laughs> Hey, Vananda. She says, hello, everyone. How many back here? Two. Two, this way. Step to the side five. Thank you. First antenna on your right. Number two, join over here on the golden blue. You're late. Always. Remember the colors that you've all been assigned, as it is vital for your interrogation today. Once this cell phone opens, you will enter and scan directly on your assigned colors and your assigned colors only. Gray, blue, orange, and... How many? I'm so glad. Three on red. Chris says, oops, forgot to hit the like button. Thank you so much for being here with Is us it tonight, still guys. Is a call on here? What a what a? Like, you know when you get arrested, you get one phone call? Well, now that we're I've in space. I've never been arrested, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> Is it one, do, do we get one phone call or is it one transmission? <laughs> I don't think you get anything. You get nothing. Nothing at all. Shouldn't they load blue and or, or red first so that we're in the back and then we don't have to walk on top of the people in the front? Or is it just me? Believe us, well, yes, General. Yeah. Enemies of the First Order, we will soon snuff out your meager resistance. You chose the wrong side and now you will pay. 
the resistance prisoners. You have what I want. You know the location of the secret base, and I will take it from you. We are needed on the bridge. Keep the prisoners here. I will return to finish this personally. Helen says it's cold in the UK. Stay warm, Helen. Notori says, wish I could stay the entire stream, but tomorrow starts my four streak of doing opening shifts at work. Yay, morning shift. Not really. But if it's morning or no hours, I'd gladly take morning. No worries, Notorious. Have a great night and a beautiful day at work tomorrow. Prince Potion says, ooh, someone there has a cool pin window backpack. Prince Potion says, I always wanted a pin display bag. Front row. Then we have the recruits. Wait, you're still here? Poe's coming back with an attack force. Get to the escape pods now. What's in back? We need to find him away. Recontos para su seguridad permanezcan sentados con sus cinturones de seguridad bien ajustado. Mantengan las manos a sus pies y piernas dentro del transporte y supervisen a sus niños. Prince Motion says, great, now I'm on Etsy, looking at bags. Okay, take this corridor to the turbo lift, then head down to the escape pod base. Those droids are programmed to return you to Batu. Hurry, and don't get caught. Lieutenant Beck will guide you. Recruits, for your safety, stay seated with seatbelts securely fastened. Keep hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the transport, and supervise your children. <laughs> Tell them it's a prisoner transfer. <laughs> Did it work? <laughs> Good. Now get a move on. There's a clear path to the turbo lifts at the end of the hallway. Turn right. <laughs> Approved, droid. You're lucky it didn't spot you. Volume warning, guys. Volume warning.
Abandon ship. I repeat, abandon ship. This is short of the run. There's no escape. You want to tell me the location of the secret base? And then I will destroy you and the resistance. <laughs> of the resistance base is secure. Bravo! Yes, R5, you too. Jason said those droids are trying to off you. Main Street Cowgirl since they're programmed to return you to the unsafe Batu. Camille said hello, friends. But you said pew pew pew. Carmen said, okay, Roger that, sir. Banana said, I'm in the bed. My friend Jesse Suarez. <laughs> Helen said, I'm not liking the eight ball. <laughs> sometimes it's friendly and sometimes it's not. Carmen said, what are you doing? I said, down. Up is very bad. Achu says, those cannons haven't worked in forever. I think they've disabled them, Achu. Do you remember when they used to actually give off heat, too, when they'd fire? I wish they'd at least do that. Even if they're not going to have a move, I wish they'd let them, like, give off the heat again. Because that was so cool. That made a huge difference when they were moving and, like, the heat. Yeah. But at the same time, I understand that just adds more to the programming, the timing, and everything else, too. Can you imagine, like, remember how it used to, like, back up? Yeah. And then go forward? Can you imagine backing up and then just running right into the gun because the timing's off? Well, and I'm wondering if, like, when people would drop hats and stuff and it would, like, stall the, the car that you're in, if the, the guns might have actually hit them, like a possibility yeah so i understand turning like the movement off possibly but at least do the heat yeah Bring did on you the see the hat no i thought when you were telling me don't put your hands up because they've never this is their first time i thought you were pointing out the hat on the ground oh <laughs> the people behind us you could tell they'd never been on it before just from their reactions to things so I Neither. leaned over and whispered to anthony and i was like don't put your hands up they've never been on it so i didn't know if they'd realize with the drop <laughs> And I didn't want to give it away. I wanted it to be a surprise for them. That couple that was in our in our road, it weren't. They've never been on it either. I think you get a lot of new people right now during spring break. Jesse with the wee wee wees. Um, it, Carmen said, "I will always run away from Mr. Kyler Ren." It's so much fun when you ride it with people that have never ridden it before. Yes. And that, they don't know that, that drop. And smugglers <laughs> run too. Those are both fun with new people. Fernanda said, don't forget to always check on my friend. Oh, that's not for me. <laughs> Lucky fan says, the force is with all of us. Carmen said, I will never tell you anything, Mr. Kylo Ren. 
I've never oh, noticed no, that Camille. before. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. She said, I've been better. Very sad news today. Has it always been there? Yeah. A mini, mini dog park? No, it's a like puppy service dog uh, relief area. There's, they're throughout the park, but most of them are hidden, so you don't see them. But that one's I been really there. don't remember that one being yeah, there. Yeah, that one's been there for a long time. Can we drop some hearts in the chat for Camille? I'm so sorry, Camille. Vananda said, Main Street Cowgirl, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing, Vananda? Sean Hopkins, welcome in. He said, hello, how are you? Doing good, Sean? Achoo said, yes. Sending hugs your way, Camille. Carmen said, great job, Miss Katie and Mr. Mischief. Ali said, bring on the heat. Fire. Don't go in the ladies room again. All right, let's go get on Winnie the Pooh. Thank you guys for dropping those hearts for Camille. We're heading into that five o'clock hour. What, where are we at right now? Five hours. Oh, on the dot? Well, no, it, you're at 4.56. Oh, okay. All right, guys, before we get too far along, or maybe I should ask Ant first, do you want to end at the six hour mark or do you want to do a power hour stream? Why are you asking me? Just because we have tomorrow. Oh, Pooh's down. Never mind. All right, we'll go do something else then. I didn't even think to look if it was open. It was open earlier. Camille said, you are all so lovely. We love you, Camille. You know that. I'm sorry you got some bad news. Sir? It doesn't matter to me. Well, I don't know. I mean, you had work and everything, and I know you've had some long nights. I don't know what your energy level is at. Uh, it don't matter to me. As you yawn. <laughs> Man, I know you got manana off, but I know we have an event manana too. But it shouldn't be that late. What? Tomorrow. No, we just got an early morning. Yeah. Well, you don't, I do. <laughs> Yeah, you definitely have an earlier morning than I do. Because we got to be down there at 3. I know that. Uh, let's see. Rusty Shackleford says, If my dude got to work tomorrow, I think you guys should call it a night. No, he doesn't have work tomorrow. He's off tomorrow. I was just asking because he's been working quite a bit lately. So I didn't know how he was feeling. But he has tomorrow off work. Let's see. Prince Potion says, my new work schedule is going to be 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. Oh, my goodness. We've got those late nights. Rusty says, or other obligations. He's a trooper. He definitely is. So, sir? What? You haven't given a... <laughs> okay, we're gonna leave here at two. Two? A.M. We can't, they will kick us out. Exactly, we'll be the last ones out of the park completely. Honey, honey, no, 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 sir. <laughs> no, listen, Linda, listen. <laughs> they will kick us out at one. <laughs> There is no two. You want to bet? We would have our passes revoked if we tried to stay until two. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, Camille said, do we know how long Haunted Mansion is down for? Um, at least until August, Camille. Uh, like late August.
Helen says, it's up to you guys. Prince Potion says, yep, LOL, the third shift represent. EXP says, hello, hello, what are we up to, y'all? Um, well, we were gonna go on poo, but it's down, so now I'm kind of wandering aimlessly. <laughs> we'll probably head over to Big Thunder. Uh, Proud today, I missed the big announcement. I'm asking for a friend. Um, it is uh, pinned at the top of the chat. Hey, Robola. He says, yeehaw. Howdy, 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 everyone. Carmen said, oh no, Pooh Bear, write us down. <laughs> Caleb said, 2 a.m. Rusty said, whoa. <laughs> He actually says, Katie says, I'm going to be sleeping by 2 a.m. Facts. <laughs> Lucky fan said, power hour. <laughs> Mama Bear says, you need your beauty rest. <laughs> Mama Bear, did you see earlier? I don't, I don't know if you were watching. I showed um, before our special fireworks show, <laughs> our one of a kind Main Street Cowgirl exclusive fireworks show. Wait, I was literally going to show her on my phone. Look at this. I was like, look, Mama <laughs> And you're asking me whether or not I need to leave or not. Look, we you got to show them. I'm like reading my chat, right? And I go, look, Mama Bear, and I hold my phone up to show you. Uh, yeah. to say hi ace but i always missed you oh there's still chimichangas left oh these people you gonna get a chimney no because as soon as i said it i remembered how overly cooked they are oh i think if you get them when they're fresh you're good <laughs> all right let's see if we can dive through all the people <laughs> Alejandro said i think you guys need your rest <laughs> Mama Bear said, that's beautiful. In the wilderness. Yeah, that one does. Okay. You guys can come standing right over here, friends. Any of the four scanners. Are we okay with some stairs? Yeah, that's fine. Wonderful. Continue scanning, my friends. Thank you. Oh, of course. Back party right over here. Okay. Let's see, Mama Bear says, I missed it earlier. Getting last minute stuff for Mignana ready. Carmen said, good night, Miss Katie. Safe home, okay, Auntie Katie, I love ya. Thank you for the awesome stream, Miss Katie. You're welcome, Carmen, good night. Helen says, I've gotta get off soon. It's 5.19 a.m. in the UK. <laughs> yes, you need your rest, Helen, bless your heart. Hey, Most Wanted, how you doing, Juan? He says, hello, Katie and Anthony. Most wanted's in the chat. Most wanted. <laughs> <In the house. laughs> As Meryl <Meryl's> just said, <laughs> staying out late at Disney is the absolute best. Jennifer says, I think you should end the stream and go get some rest for tomorrow. Man, it's a good thing we got lightning lane. Right. Uh, Sean says, if you're a Disney fan, have you watched X-Men? The animated series. I have not seen the animated series, Sean. How about you, chat? Jesse says, Thunder Mountain. Or as Brother Mike would say, Thundercat Mountain. 
Hey, cool drummer. He says, hi, Mean Street Cowgirl and Snack Guy. How you doing, my friend? Holy churro, Disney man. Thank you. Cool drummer said, hey. What up, cool drummer? Hey, how to hey? Prince Fashion says, I have some other good news. In a few days, I'm bringing home a new kitty. I lost one of my boys last year and finally found a cat that seems like he will be a great fit for my lonely guy. Oh, I love that. What kind of kitty is it, Prince Potion? Camille says, making me want some Mexican food now. Maybe I'll get Lawrence to bring home some because I don't feel like cooking tonight. Oh, do it. Sanchez says, Jean Grey is pregnant in X-Men anime, 79th season. Uh, Ace said, what mic do you guys use? We use the DJI wireless mic set. Isn't it in the de um, description? Yes. Um, Caleb, if you look in the description for the stream, all of our equipment with links to um, it on, I believe, Amazon. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's on a there. direct link to. The only thing I haven't put on there is the backup mics, the Rode Wireless 2. Oh, okay. But everything else is on there. Esmeralda said, LOL, unless you work early, it's too early to end the stream. Rusty Shackleford says, I think we've all decided you guys take a rester. These five to six hour streams do a number. Woo. Sanchez said, yeah, big thunder mountain. Prince Motion says, he's five year old, fluffy Maine Coon, looking tabby. His name is Gideon. He's super sweet and cuddly, but shy. Oh, yeah. Sounds beautiful. We, we've got some money invested into it, guys. The gimbal that we're currently using right now is mine. Huh? Gladys said uh, those are some uh, expensive mics. Yeah, the wireless ones are not cheap, guys. No, James says, wee, Thunder Mountain. Gladys says, Mr. Mister, can you do the creepy gingerbread voice? Do you know the muffin man? Camille says, ooh, I like this ride. Mateo Energy says, yay, I was allowed to come back for a little longer. Well, welcome back, um, uh, Mateo. What row are we in? Six? No, eight. Oh, so dark. says, I saw some cheap mics at TikTok shop. <laughs> we started with a set of cheap mics. But the sound quality just wasn't the yeah. best. When it and honestly, when it comes to technology, I'm bougie. Uh, Carmen says, yes, I've seen the X-Men cartoon, Miss Katie. The group says, how long are you guys staying tonight? Undecided. <laughs> I don't know, but that wind's chilly right now. Prince Potion said, his name rhymes with Squidian. Gwidian. Gwidian or Gideon? <laughs> As he says, not the Muffin Man. Hey Snoopy said, okay, thank you. Looking for some good mics. Appreciate your help. Yeah, the, the DJ, DJ, D, I can't say that. <laughs> the DJI. And the, the Rode are, are both really good quality. But. The DJI holds the, a charge a little bit longer. No, they're about the time. same. They're well, about the same. I, I feel like the Rode like dies like quicker as you use them longer though. Like they don't hold up as well, I feel like. You've never used them. From other people that we've 
had experience with. Well, the DGI is a lot more smaller compact too. But DGI just came out with the DGI 2 mics, which if you're going to be soloing is a lot better because the microphone Bluetooths to the phone rather than having to have the trim the receiver. And then you still have the receiver option too. So if you're looking for a mic just for you, I would probably go the DJI 2. Superstar S says, OMG, hi. Welcome in, Superstar S. They said, what is your favorite color? Um, probably turquoise. And Anthony's is probably black. Black or blue? He doesn't even know what I'm talking about. You don't about. know my favorite color? I'm Dory. Yours is turquoise. I just said that two seconds ago. <laughs> I didn't hear you say it. I was reading the chat. I... <laughs> Mine is black and blue. I just said that. You said black or blue. That's not a color. That's two colors. All right, guys, gonna lock you guys in. Uh, let's see. Lucky Man said X Men's good. Prince Potion said Gwid like Squid. It's a Welsh name. Oh, I didn't know that. Interesting. As Merla said, so that new X Men series uses the theme song from the 90s? I didn't know that. Rusty Shackleford said, I love Gideon. He's my favorite Disney character. Uh, Superstar says, What's your favorite food? Ooh, probably chicken fettuccine Alfredo. All right, guys, enjoy the ride. I'll get caught up with the chat. Ah. Let's see those emotes. I feel like you just keep pushing the bar farther and farther up. I think you like coming out of the seat. No, I, it hit you when I was pushing it down, so I stopped. <laughs> I'm like, no wonder why you come out of your seat.
Oh, oh my goodness. Holy smokes. Hit the brakes. Brake check. Mike Skellington said, a good mic or a good mic? Mike is good. <laughs> Sanchez said, Anthony, wee pig. <laughs> Mike Skellington said, ha ha. Mateo Energy said, my dogs are here and loving Disney's sights through alive. Cynthia Zuniga said, hello. Thank you for this magical time. Are you guys leaving soon or do you leave till 12? Um, usually we're here till 12. I don't think we've decided what we're doing tonight yet. Like, we but we welcome in, Cynthia. Prince Potion said, turquoise is my second favorite color after bluish purple. Prince Potion said, let's go. Lucky Fan said, wildest ride in the wilderness. Sanchez said, black and white are my favorite color. Rusty said, she can't say that you never listen. My dude be listening. <laughs> Jesse said, wee, wee, wee. EXP said, best remove them. Everyone with the wees. Cynthia said, say hello to the goat for me. We always check out the goat. All righty, guys. Sanchez said, Anthony's we do make me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse said, holy chalupa, where are the brakes on this thing? Uh, not yet, Carmen. Where are we at on time? 5.17. Okay. Cynthia says, the end of the week, go again. <laughs> Sanchez says, I can't stop laughing. We, Anthony say. Esmeralda said, that's an interesting sound while editing my dissertation, Mr. Mischief. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky Fan says, all that was missing is a pinwheel. <laughs> oh, see, now I'm going to have to see if I can't find a little miniature pinwheel and <laughs> stick it on the gimbal. See what you guys started? <laughs> Cynthia it. says, the end of the week. Oh, wait, I already read that one. Lucky Fan says, all, oh, I already read that one. Ah, Jay says, had to mute, LOL. <laughs> Sorry, Jay. Superstar says, I have to go now. Bye. Goodbye, Superstar. Have a great night. Mateo says, whoa, up so late. Might need a cup of coffee for that. Prince Potion says, remember to like the stream. All right, let's take a hop into the pin store real quick. I don't think they got anything new, do they? Oh, the Easter one's cute with Jesse. <coughs> do you see that one anywhere? Which one? The Jesse one. Or do you think they have it behind the register, maybe? They probably have it behind the register. All right. I don't see Can you hold the cookies for a sec? Hi. Uh, do you guys have the Easter one with Jesse and Woody back here? Yeah. Why should I worry? Perfect. I'd like to get Why that should I get? Yes. Uh, yes, please. Oh, yes, the past can hurt. The way I see it, you can either run from it it's or okay. learn you. from it. I just wish they would use a rubber rabbit to take a rabbit off for it. 
Thank you. Oh, like Thank you. Right? It's a given. Yes, we need more Roger and Jessica. 100%. Yeah. For me, it's like I'm waiting, like, and I'm like still young, but not too young. Like, for me, it's the like, Roly Polioli, the Mandy Manny, like those characters. Yeah. I need those. Yes. <laughs> For sure. Thank you. Have a good night, guys. You too. Oh, look, they st actually got them in the parks now. Oh, yeah, the Lorcana? Yeah. All right, let's find. I don't know what's going on with the gimbal. Lit area. Okay, let's go over. Oh, I guess that'll work. Okay, guys. So, the pin I just bought is actually going to be your guys' giveaway for tonight. Surprise! It's super cute. It's got Jesse and Buzz, and it says Happy Easter Disneyland. It's this year's Easter pin. Oh, sorry guys. All right, you wanna set it up, sir? Here, I'll show you guys. It's a super cute pin. And it's like dimensional. I don't know if you can quite tell, but it is dimensional. So let me put the timer up for y'all. One sec, guys, we're setting it up. Yep. All right, guys. So again, this is gonna be the giveaway right now. If you would like to enter, you must be a resident of the continental US. If you are not, but you would still like to enter, you may do so, but you must be willing to gift the prize to someone else who is currently in the chat that resides in the continental US. Um, international shipping is just too much. If you would like to enter, the keyword you're gonna enter is Easter, E-A-S-T-E-R. Only enter the keyword one time or Nightbot will disqualify you. Good luck, guys. Again, the keyword, is Easter, E-A-S-T-E-R. I want it, let me, there we go. There we are. And if you're just hopping in, this is the prize. Uh, Jesse, it's Easter. E-A-S-T-E-R, guys, Easter. Yeah, you got Eastern. Okay. Like the holiday, Easter. Chases, what's your favorite snack at the park? Oh, that's hard. Mm -hmm. um, gotta love churros. And I love the cheesy pretzel bread. Brother Mike said, finally out of the shower. Mike Skellington said, it was so funny to hear Anthony on other streams Friday night. <laughs> Prince Potion said, pins, I love pins. Carmen said, yay, pin store. Uh, Brother Mike said, any new Donald's? I didn't see any. Mateo says, I love pins. I personally own the lightsaber shop one, 61 and gold and slinky. EXP said, nice. It is time. <laughs> Ali Hunter said, we do need more Roger and Jessica. Yes. EXP said, nice, very cool. Carmen said, ooh, giveaway time. Brother Mike said, we do need more Roger and Jessica Rabbit. Ali Hunter said, cute. Journeys Out Loud said, so cute. Esmeralda said, oh wow, that's so sweet of you, Katie. Brother Mike said, happy Easters. Esmeralda said, very cute. <laughs> Brother Mike, or, uh, Mike Skellington said, how many dimensions? How many do you want? <laughs> Leslie said, super cute. Ali Hunter said, good luck, everyone. Um, Mateo Energy said, what do we do for the giveaway? All you do is enter the keyword in the chat and um, it will be electronically selected. As Merilda said, can like three-fourths of y'all go to sleep now? <laughs> Leslie said, good luck, friends. All right, and the winner is Sean Hopkins. Sean, are you in the chat, my friend? Congratulations, Sean. Are you here? Andrew Lopez said, congratulations. Do, 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 do. Rusty Shackleford, thank you for subscribing. And Stephen, thank you for subscribing. Sean said, yes. All right, Sean. 
if you could email me your name, your mailing address, and the item you won, if you just put Easter pin, I will know what you're talking about, and I will get this mailed out to you. Congratulations. And my email was just dropped in the chat, but if you miss it, my email will be in the description for the stream. Sophia, welcome in from Auckland. She said, what did I miss? Oh, we just did a giveaway, Sophia. All right, where are we at time-wise? We can do one more quick ride, yeah? Before our time is up. Oh, I ripped my box. How long is jungle? Five minutes. Let's do Jungle Cruise. We're right here. Jungle or Indy? We haven't been on Indy in a while. Indy will take too long. We only have like 30 minutes. Oh. Camille says, hi, Sophia. Also from Auckland. Yes, Camille is another um, friend of ours from over there. Kitty, they're going that way. She was talking to me for a minute. I was like, hello. <laughs> uh, Sean says, what do I put in my email? Just your name, your mailing address that you would like it mailed to, and the prize that you won. So if you put Easter pin, I will know what you're talking about. Full, full address, though. So like if you have an apartment number or anything, need that too. Yes. Mike says, I know it's you, Dale Gribble, a.k.a. Rusty Shackelford. Mateo says, signing off officially. Congrats to Sean. And thank you for a wonderful night. Goodbye. Good night, Mateo. Have a wonderful night, my friend. All right, you ready? Let's go. Rusty said, you got me. Man, I wish I lived in that era. I want to be like you. I want to walk like you, talk like you, too. Oh. What's up, Beef Train? Welcome in. Howdy, Jim. Yeah. Yeah, honey, come on down this way. Come and add your snake going forward. Oh, wait, go those are much more. Oh, come on, excited. Woo! Yeah, Jungle Cruise. That's what I'm talking about. All right, wonderful, wonderful. Now, we're just waiting for those three magic words. And look at that. I just got permission to hit something. Let's go do it. Wave goodbye to those beautiful people on the dock. Bye. Bye. Hey, Beef Train. Oh, Luce, well, Stella. Yeah. You're never and Let's Lane Adventures. Again. Welcome in, guys. Alrighty, folks. Welcome to the world famous oh. Jungle Cruise. My name is Liv, and I am going to be your skipper tonight. And if you don't laugh at my jokes, I will be your swimming instructor instead. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. Now, just a couple things before we begin. Please remain seated, keeping all hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the boat for me, okay? I really, really don't want you to feel any peer pressure, okay? <laughs> Trust me. All right, my friends. Now, over here on our right-hand side, this is going to be the Temple of the Forbidden Eye, where the famed archaeologist Indiana Jones is looking for the lost treasure. I'm not too sure why he's looking in there, though, because clearly I'm standing right here. Yeah, guys, come on, seriously, we all know it's the truth. Come on now, folks, let's pull it together. Ooh, wow, and look at that. Over here on our left-hand side, that is going to be one of the rarest cats in all of the jungle, the Himalayan tiger. But right now, folks, you won't find Himalayan. You'll find him a standing. Yeah, look at him go. He's so good at that, isn't he? Oh, and look at that. Wow, over here, everyone, wave goodbye to all of my friends from high school. 
Yeah, those are my favorites. Hope you guys enjoyed that. That was so much fun for me. I love pointing at things. Oh, and look at that. Wow, straight ahead of us here, folks. That is going to be the most beautiful sight that you will see on your Jungle Cruise tour tonight. That there is the world famous Schweitzer Falls, which is named after the founder of our jungle navigation company here, and the world famous water, Dr. Albert Falls. Great guy. All right, my friends, now we have just turned down the Nile River here, which is the longest river in all of the world, okay? It just goes on for Niles and Niles and Niles. And if you don't believe me, you're in denial, okay? Seriously, folks, you're in denial. I don't know how else I can say that to you. No one seems to believe me. Oh, and look at that, my friends. Straight ahead, this waterfall is our signifier that we have entered the beautiful African belt, which is home to an array of wildlife. For example, uh, straight ahead, uh, those are stripey horsies. And next to that, fuzzy horsies. Oh, and those tall things in the back there, I do know what those are, yeah. Those are trees. Yeah, get a nice good look at them. Very tall if you ask me. Oh, and look at those lions, folks. They're reading that stripy horsey a bedtime story. Wow, how sweet is that? Uh, it's okay, it's okay. He's just dead. Oh, sorry, dead tired. My bad. Oh, and look at that. I just saw all of them on the dock earlier today. That one down there at the bottom, that's our newest skipper, Felix. You know, I told him, never mess around with rhinos. They always get their point across. Yeah, but hey, what a rhino. Oh, okay. Uh, you know what, folks? Looks like we made a wrong turn. Week, they sank six of our boats. Oh, but don't worry, only five of those we're mine. Okay, so we should be good now, seriously. Oh my gosh, just kidding, we're not good. Um, oh, you know what? I know exactly how to scare them off. I'm going to tell them what I told my ex-boyfriend. I love you! Meet my family! Commit to me! And just like that, they're gone. Wow. Isn't that just so crazy how that's worked every single time I've said it? <laughs> crazy, right? Right? It's crazy. Right? Please, someone tell me. No, oh my god, none of you are validating me. Oh, wow, and look at that. Straight ahead here. Looks like we've got a band of monkeys that has taken over one of our boats. You know, folks, I think it's safe to say they've gone bananas. Good night, Hassan. Yeah, this really just doesn't appeal to me at all. Okay, I hope you guys like banana jokes, alright? Because I've got a bunch. Seriously, guys, I've got a bunch here. Come on. Oh, and look 
look at this over here on our left. Those are my two favorite chimpanzees in all of the jungle. That one down there at the bottom is Maggie, and the one up at the top, that's Annette. Yeah, she's a real catch, if you know what I mean, truly. Oh, and look at this, folks. Here we are at the moment that you have all been waiting for. So everyone, put your hands together for the eighth wonder of the world, the backside of water! Thank you, Leslie. Us. Here we've got a boa constrictor sitting in a tree. H-I-S-S-I-N-G. First comes love, then comes a constricting relationship that you don't want to get wrapped up in. Trust me, it takes forever to get out of that. Don't do it. Oh, and look at this over here on our left. This is the newly refurbished Trader Sam's guest shop. And folks, he is handing out free photos tonight. Everyone say cheese. Just kidding, there's no film in there. Oh my gosh, you guys are still so gullible. Wow, never change, okay, I like you this one. All right, my friends. Now, as we approach that dog once more, I would like to remind you all to please remain seated, keeping all hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the boat for me, okay? I really don't want you folks to feel any of the peer pressure up there. Truly, I don't. Alrighty, my friends. Wonderful, wonderful. Now, it's been an absolute pleasure to be your skipper tonight. I hope that you enjoyed your trip through the jungle with me once again. My name is Liv. And just, if you did not enjoy your trip through the jungle one. with me, my name is not Liv. Okay, alright. Now, you know what they say, folks? True friends never really say goodbye. So, I'm just gonna say goodbye. Uh, that was rude. I almost don't want this to end, Get right? Out. All right, watch your step, watch your head, use those handrails for me. Watch your step, watch your head, use those handrails. Okay, she hand definitely deserves a cast member compliment. Right, one last joke for all of my mind readers out there. <laughs> Thank you, Leslie. Thank you, Leslie. Thank you, Leslie. One sec, guys. What's your name again? Sorry. What's your name again? Liv. Liv, you are amazing. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, guys, Liv, if you want to do a cast member compliment, Liv, L-I-V. <laughs> Rusty said, is my dude trying to soldier on? I believe so. Where are we at? You're at 537. Wow, that didn't take up much time. All right, let's just end it, and then we'll start a second one. I'm going to just put it over here. Oh, we'll be back.